flavors. Haichu is available at sticks, peg bags, stand-up pouches, and unwrapped bites for when you're on the go. Head to your local grocery or convenience store to grab a bag. Or search Haichu.com to find Haichu candy near you. That's H-I-C-H-E-W.com. You're listening to Duke Basketball in the NCAA Tournament. We'll have more from Brooklyn after this local break. Think about the last time you moved. Remember how you said you'd never do it alone again? We know moving is tough, but at Two Men and a Truck, we make it easy. No matter the move, big or small, we'll make it a smooth one. We're the movers who care and will prove it with our 96% referral rate and courteous background check movers. We're local and affordable. We can help at a price that won't make you wish you'd done it on your own. When you're ready, give us a call or find us online for a free estimate at twomanandatruck.com. Which schools will take home the prestigious Learfield Directors Cup for the 2023-24 college athletic season? You can follow the standings of your favorite school or alma mater at L Directors Cup on Twitter and online at thedirectorscup.com. That's thedirectorscup.com and L Directors Cup on Twitter. Trophies will be awarded in June 2024 to the winning institutions in all competitive divisions. Learfield Directors Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics. It's the most special tournament in the world. Got it to go! Rose the other way, two on one. It's Proctor to punch it down! Blocked by Filipowski. Get that out of there! You never want to take for granted the opportunity to play in it. My goodness! McCain is cooking! Oh, they needed that! We're back in it now, and you want to make the most of it? Into Mitchell spins. Oh! And he throws it down! He'll launch! Bang! And a free throw coming as well. And the tournament is all about focusing on what you can control. Oh, look out the window with the right hand. Well, when you get on the court, that's what you can control. After a dominant defensive effort on Friday, the Blue Devils are back to work tonight in the round of 32, looking to punch a ticket to the Sweet 16 for the 29th time in their storied history. Duke held Vermont to just 47 points in their NCAA tournament opener, the fewest they've given up all season, closing the game on a 14-3 run to win by 17 and set the stage for an opportunity that in many ways has been a full year in the making. Last spring in the round of 32, it brought bitter, di bitter disappointment, I should say, for the Blue Devils. A 13-point loss to Tennessee, bringing an abrupt end to a 10-game winning streak and setting in motion a series of announcements that would ultimately shape this year's roster. One by one, Tyrese Proctor, Mark Mitchell, and Kyle Filipowski announced they would return for their sophomore campaigns. And it wasn't long after that Jeremy Roach made it clear he would join them for his senior season, giving John Shire four returning starters in his second season. It's a group that hasn't shied away from discussing what happened last year in Orlando, noting the physicality needed to advance in March. And their play on Friday night was reflective of a team ready for this moment, eager to make, to take the next step along the road to the Final Four. It's Duke and James Madison, and off we go for Brooklyn. On the Blue Devil Sports Network from Learfield, you're listening to Duke Basketball in the NCAA Tournament from Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. Blue Devil Basketball is brought to you by Coca-Cola. They say Coke Zero is irresistibly tasty. Does that make it the best Coke ever? Find out for yourself. Reed's Jewelers, your home for fine Swiss timepieces, beautiful diamonds, and the world's most luxurious jewelry brands. Reed's Jewelers, trusted with life's moments. By Continental Tire, the exclusive tire of the Blue Devils. Find the right tire for your vehicle at ContinentalTire.com. Continental Tire, the smart choice in tires. By the Hilton Garden Inn, your home base near Duke University. Duke Health. Duke Health doctors are the official team doctors for Duke Athletics. Learn more at DukeHealth.org. And by the Washington Duke Inn. Honoring tradition over trend for over 30 years. Still ahead, keys to victory, starting lineups, and the opening tip. This is Duke Basketball from Learfield.
Reed's Jewelers, we know that the rules of engagement were made to be broken. So don't settle for the first ring you see in the case. When you put a ring on it, make the moment your own with something that's just as unique as your love. Whether you're going big, keeping it subtle, or finding a happy medium, we're here to help you say I do with a one-of-a-kind design. Because doing things your way is what makes them mean everything. Reed's Jewelers, an official partner of Blue Devil Sports. Visit your local Reed's Jewelers in-store or online at reeds.com to chat with an expert. The passion, the tradition, the rivalries. Sirius XM is your destination for all things college sports, and we've got you covered. On ACC Radio, there is complete coverage of every school in the conference, including live games, plus 24-7 talk and analysis. So cheer along on the Sirius XM app and listen to your favorite team anywhere. And now you can get three months of Sirius XM free. Subscribe now. See all for details at SiriusXM.com slash ACC Sports. For the latest in news, notes, and special content, head to GoDuke.com. This is the Blue Devils Sports Network from Learfield. Enjoying the game but not the drink being spilled down your back or the foam finger poking you in the face? Well, head to the concession stand, grab a Lindy's Italian Ice, and take a six-ounce vacation. A six-ounce cup of lemon Italian Ice will make you feel like you're swaying in a hammock and the only thing in your face is a cool, salty breeze. That ought to have you refreshed. Now get your head back in the game and start belting out blue and white with the youthful exuberance of the freshman behind you. Yes, the same one that keeps spilling his drink down your back. Lindy's Italian Ice. Have an ice day. He'll fire, and it's good! This is Duke head men's basketball coach John Shire. When it comes to keeping our team healthy, we turn to the team at Duke Sports Medicine. We offer full-service sports medicine care at locations throughout the Triangle where you can see the same experts used by Duke Athletics. Make an appointment or learn more at dukehealth.org slash sportsmedicine. Go Duke! The crowd loves that. Closer to tip off, it's time to go inside the Duke locker room with head coach John Shire, presented by Duke Health. Duke Health doctors are the official team doctors for Duke Athletics. Learn more at dukehealth.org. Now, once again, here's the voice of the Blue Devils, David Shumate. Duke and James Madison here tonight, and coach, just want to start with a thought on the last game, holding Vermont to 47 points, four guys in double figures. What did you take away from that one? Well, I just love the the effort and the, the energy that we had, and that's what you need in this tournament. You advanced by playing defense. Uh, I thought our will to just compete and to defend was at a high level, and obviously we'll, we'll need to have that tonight. I know so often we get caught up in scoring, but it felt like that night Kyle Filipowski wrote a book on making plays that you need to to win, 12 rebounds, assists, steals, blocks, all the way down the line. What did you see from him? I just, you know, I mentioned our team competing. You know, our team goes to another level when his competitive spirit is at the, the highest place, and, and it was against Vermont. And it's not easy. Look, he's our, he leads us in how many categories? Obviously, he leads us in scoring. But for him to be so unselfish, just to make the right plays for other guys, uh, we still have to do a better job finding Finding him when he is open. Like we, we can't go on with him shooting one time, you know, one time a game. I have to do a better job helping him, but I love the unselfishness and the way he competed. Let's talk about James Madison a little bit, one of the hottest teams in the country, having won 14 in a row. What have you seen from them? Well, just that, you know, they're, uh, they're playing at uh, such a high level, but also very confident. You know, they're very confident in who they are, their, their system, and they've, you know, they all have, they're one of the, they're one of the most experienced teams in college basketball. Um, but they're very disruptive on defense. You have to be really strong with the ball. Uh, they, they like to get up and down. You have to get back and make them a half court team. Um, and they're, look, they're not, uh, <laughs> You know, they're, they're a really good team, and this is going to be a big-time game. You mentioned how disruptive they are. They went wire to wire against Wisconsin, forcing 19 turnovers, getting 27 points off of those, and a good chunk of that came in the first 10 minutes of the game. How important will the start be here tonight? Yeah, we got to come out right away and, and set the tone, and just like I'm sure they're saying in the, their locker room, but it's important for us. Uh, we have to come out right away, and, you know, look, this group, uh, we've been in some battles together, and we've been in different environments, and, you know, you get a chance to play in the round of 32 to go to, to – to go to a Sweet 16, I don't want any hesitation from our guys. I want us coming out swinging. I want us come out, coming out firing and uh, fully following their instincts. 
to get your thoughts on their leading scorer, Edwards, 17 points a game, but also more than 120 assists on the year. What makes him so special? Uh, well, Edwards can can do both. He can score and and he can obviously play make, but his size allows him to get in the paint and have really good vision. And then he's relentless attacking the paint. Like he's always getting downhill. He's a capable shooter, uh, and he's you know you can tell he's uh, he's the engine that makes them go with his personality uh, and his competitiveness. And it's a tough matchup because he's a big wing uh, and he does such a good job handling. And then, like I mentioned, uh, attacking the basket. Finally, Coach, sometimes we can get caught up looking at box scores after the game. I couldn't help but notice after the game against Vermont, you talked about heart and toughness. Why are the intangibles so important this time of year? Well, it's, it comes down to how bad you want it sometimes. you know. And, and in these games, you're playing against whoever you're playing against. It doesn't matter. James Madison obviously checks these boxes of checks the boxes of what I'm talking about. But you have to have... Uh, <laughs> they want it badly. You want it badly. So who wants it more? Ball's on the floor. You got to get it, you know. And obviously, you need to execute and you need to take care of the ball and all those things. But the will to win, I don't know. The, the teams I've been a part of, you know, that have gone the furthest, uh, there's been an amazing will to win. And that's why I saw from our group in the first game. And let's do that again the second game here. Right, Coach, we appreciate the time. Good luck tonight. All right. Thanks, you, man. We're back with the action. Coke Zero Sugar might be the best Coke ever? That's right, Jim. With an irresistible taste and zero sugar, Coke Zero Sugar is a must-try for any sports fan. So make sure you... Wait, Jim, I didn't mean try it right now. We're still on the air. Mmm, <sighs> best Coke ever? Take a taste, Jen. Really? No, not right now, Jen. we got a game to call. Let me grab my car keys and we'll roll. We still going to that new bar downtown? Yeah, it's supposed to be fun. Lexi, give me driving directions from home to downtown bar district. Auto correct. Suggest Uber. Pick up home. Drop off downtown bar district. No, I'm driving. Suggest the metro bus. Departing in 12 minutes. <laughs> Point taken, Lexi. We'll grab a ride. If you drink, don't drive. Decide to ride. Brought to you in partnership by Anheuser Bush, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, and Uber. This is Duke Blue Devil Basketball in the NCAA Tournament. Got him! To throw it down off the inbound! More from Barclays Center after this local timeout. It's bow time. Sometimes the craving for Bojangles Supremes is so strong you just gotta have them. Even when your gas tank is on empty and Bojangles is still 10 miles down the highway. Nothing beats the flavor of Bojangles Juicy Golden Supremes, especially when they're part of a perfect combo with four boldly seasoned chicken Supremes, a made-from-scratch biscuit, fixin', and some legendary iced tea. The only thing that can satisfy your hunger is that delicious southern flavor. So when the craving is supreme, put the pedal to the metal. It's bow time. <laughs> Hey, pork rind lovers, are you ready for a new low-carb salad topper with bold flavor? Croutonez Pork Rind Croutons will be your new go-to topper. Try them on salads, soups, or as an on-the-go snack. Croutonez have the protein-packed crunch that will wake up your taste buds while curbing the carbs. Find Southern Recipe Small Batch Croutonez in the Crouton aisle at Food Lion today. Welcome back to Brooklyn from the Barclays Center. It's the round of 32 South Regional action this afternoon. The winner to Dallas in the Sweet 16. As the Blue Devils look for their 26th win of the season today, they'll take on the champions out of the Sun Belt in James Madison. The Blue Devils are the four seed. The Dukes are the 12th seed as we welcome you courtside. David Schumann alongside John Roth. John Rose, our producer and engineer. You'll hear from Kyle Schasperger throughout the afternoon as well. And uh, John, it's been a talking point really behind the scenes at different times throughout the entirety of the year, but certainly this week, the last couple of days, the team has been pretty open talking about what happened last year against Tennessee, the physicality the Volunteers played with, the fact that the Bulldogs were shorthanded without Mark Mitchell. It was kind of about this time last year that we found out Mark wasn't going to be able to go. They seem to have had 
this game, this round circled for quite some time. It does seem like it, even though you don't know you're going to be in the tournament, you don't know who's going to win in the brackets, but Duke getting to this second round and having a chance to somewhat redeem themselves for the performance they had against uh, Tennessee is uh, one of the things you mentioned a moment ago, why a lot of those sophomores, along with Jeremy Roach, came back for another year to kind of finish some business and see how far they could take this thing, and that begins today. They've seen a bunch of different defenses thrown out them over the course of the year because of how skilled they are offensively. Against Vermont, it was to take away Filipowski. He shared the basketball awfully well for assists on other guys, and they won by 17. Today they're going to get a team in James Madison. We were just talking about with the head coach that forced 19 turnovers in knocking out Wisconsin. Yeah, this is a team that's got its own uh, set of defensive principles that it abides by, and it's been a very successful team on the defense. And they can also score the ball, too, like the Blue Devils can. So that, to me, makes this a very entertaining contest, too. Two teams that like to play good defense but also can put it up. The Blue Devils snapped their brief two-game skid with a win over Vermont 64-47 and beating Wisconsin 72-61 in the first round. James Madison stretched their winning streak to 14. That's the longest in the country equaling the school program record that they set earlier this season when they opened the year with 14 consecutive wins. And what do you know, these two have never met. It'll be Duke and James Madison. The starting lineups and the opening tip-off are headed your way next. Every day in the U.S., more than nine people are killed and 1,000 injured in crashes involving a distracted driver. You can't control other motorists, but you can control how you operate your vehicle. Avoid distractions while driving, like texting or checking social media. Brought to you by Trusted Choice Independent Insurance Agents of North Carolina. Learn more at trustedchoice.com slash go Duke. To learn more, visit your local Trusted Choice Independent Agency, Grimes Insurance Group in Raleigh, or go to johngrimesinsurance.com. Would you like to learn how AI-driven financial strategies can empower you to meet evolving challenges with confidence? OneStream can help you do just that. It's the next generation intelligent finance platform that streamlines corporate performance management processes such as planning, forecasting, financial close and consolidation. Choose the smarter option. Choose OneStream. Go to onestream.com forward slash AI and streamline your business today. The tradition. This is Duke Basketball from Learfield. Blue Devil fans, here's your chance to team up with Duke Basketball in a season-long effort to support Duke Children's Hospital. The Duke Children's Charity Stripe Challenge is an initiative that raises money for Duke Children's patient care, research, and education every time the Blue Devils make a free throw this season. And you can join the challenge by pledging an amount for every free throw the Blue Devils make or simply make a one-time pledge to show your support. Visit DukeCharityStripe.org to learn more and help make a difference in the lives of the kids at Duke Children's. PNC Bank is committed to making a difference in the lives of their customers and communities by helping all move forward financially. As a Main Street bank, they try to do the right thing by their customers with every encounter. Their local teams offer personalized financial advice to help guide customers to making the best decision. They're proud to be part of the Duke Blue Devils community. See how PNC Bank can make a difference for you at PNC.com. PNC Bank National Association Member FDIC. Madison coming up in the round of 32 in the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship. Kyle Shasper with you inside Studio 21 before we get back to the guys in Brooklyn at the Barclays Center. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is Duke Basketball from Learfield. Two winners already today advancing to the Sweet 16. Purdue 106, Utah State 67. Purdue setting a program record with a 31st victory and also two-seated Marquette in the Sweet 16 for the first time since 2013. 81-77 winners over Colorado. Duke trying to get to the Sweet 16 and advance to Dallas as well. We go back to Brooklyn with John Roth and John Rose. Here's the voice of the Blue Devils, David Schumann. 
All right, Kyle, thank you very much. As we close in on tip-off, let's dive right in with our starting lineups there. Presented by Delta, statistically, the world is losing color. All white kitchens, beige nurseries, gray cars. But in the destinations Delta flies to, there's still a vibrant world out there. And sometimes opening your world is all it takes to open your mind. Delta, proud to be the official airline of the Duke Blue Devils. We'll begin with the 12th seed in the South region, James Madison. The Dukes are 32-3 and three overall. They finished the year 15-3 and three in the Sun Belt, tied with UConn for the best record nationally with those 32 wins coming off that 72-61 to win over the Badgers. The highest seeded win for JMU, and they never trailed in that one in the NCAA tournament on Friday. Going to use the same starting five. Number five is Terrence Edwards, Jr., kind of a point forward, can play both the guard and forward spots. A redshirt junior, 6'6", 190, out of Atlanta, Georgia. He's their leading scorer, better than 17 points a game, and has 121 assists on the year. Number one is Noah Friedel, redshirt senior guard, 6'4", 210, out of Tay, South Dakota. He's a sharpshooter. 79 of his makes from the field have come from distance. 79 of his 134 in total. Number zero, Xavier Brown. Sophomore guard, 6'2", 170, out of Williamsburg, Virginia. Been in double figures eight times this year. Five and four against the Badgers. Number three is T.J. Bickerstaff. He's a grad transfer from Boston College. A forward, 6'9", 220, out of Atlanta, Georgia. He had 12 and nine on Friday night. And rounding out the starting five is number 22, Julian Wooden, the redshirt senior four. 468 225 out of Roanoke, Virginia. 91 career wins for him, the most in JMU's history for a player. For head coach Mark Byington in his fourth season at JMU, the assistants are Xavier Joyner, John Crimmins, and Matt Bucklin. Meanwhile, for the Blue Devils, the four seed in the South region after that 17 point win over the 13th seed, Vermont. They are 25 and 8 overall. Going to roll out the same starting five. Tyrese Proctor wearing number five, the sophomore guard, 6'5, 183, out of Sydney, Australia, had 30. 13 on Friday night, including three threes. Number three is Jeremy Roach. He's a senior guard, 6'2", 180, at Elysburg, Virginia. He had 14 against the Catamounts right on his season average. Number zero is Jared McCain, freshman guard, 6'3", 197, out of Sacramento, California. He's had two or more threes this year, 22 times now, 18 and four is Duke's record when he does so, including on Friday when he was two out of six from deep. Number 25 is Mark Mitchell, sophomore forward, 6'9", 232, out of Kansas City, Kansas. Had 15 and five against Against Vermont, 15 points. He had six field goals. Five of them were dunks. And rounding out the starting five is number 30, Kyle Filipowski, sophomore center, seven footer, 248, out of West Town, New York. Just three points on Friday night, but he did everything else. 12 rebounds, four assists, two steals, and three block shots for head coach John Shire. His second season at the helm. The associate head coaches are Chris Carroll and Jay Lucas. The assistants, Emmanuel Dildy and Will Avery. And the director of player development is Justin Robinson. We're just about set for our opening tip. It's presented by Blue Cross and Blue Shield of North Carolina. And as the official health insurance partner of Duke Athletics, we believe an inclusive community is a healthy community. Here for the Blue Devils, here for all. James Madison as the 12 seed, the designated visitors here today. So they're going to wear purple jerseys and shorts with some gold numerals and lettering and some white trim in there as well and a gold stripe around the bottom of the shorts. Meanwhile, for the Blue Devils and the familiar home whites is the higher seed today, the four seed. White jerseys and shorts, Duke blue numerals and lettering, a Duke blue stripe down the side and an Iron Duke Duke logo in white at the bottom of the shorts. We're going to watch John Shire's group. Go right to left here in the opening 20 minutes as we see things across from the Blue Devil bench. They can fit 17,732 inside the Barclays Center. Crowd still filing in. The second game here will come from the East region featuring Connecticut and Northwestern, but it should be lively for the Blue Devils and the Dukes to get it started. Mike Reed is going to lead our officiating crew. He's assisted by Courtney Green and Tony Henderson this afternoon. It'll be Filipowski and Wooden to jump it off. And we're just about set to get it started. The winner to the Sweet 16 in Dallas next week. The basketball in the air and away we go as the Blue Devils control the opening tab. Proctor will bring it across and hand it off for Jeremy Roach at the top of the key. Drifts to the right, looking inside, sends it to the left end McCain. Now to the baseline, Kyle Filipowski gets a touch. Much made out. He only had one attempt on Friday. Kicks out for McCain, and it starts with the three. And a big time smile and a head shake of affirmation from Jared McCain as he hits the first shot of the night. And the Blue Devils jump on top, and Filipowski has his first assist. On the right, Friedel sends it over to the left, and Edwards. 
Mitchell staring him down. Filipowski crashes him out near midcourt. In some trouble. Dangerous pass. Lobs it inside. Driving lane for Bickerstaff. Forced it up and rattled it home. And it's 3-2 to two here in the first minute. The Blue Devils knew how important the start would be here tonight. James Madison just blitzed Wisconsin at the start on Friday night. Jumped out to a 15-4 lead. Forcing 10 turnovers in the first 10 minutes. Proctor sends it to the left and Jeremy Roach. Jeremy comes to the right, feeds McCain. Dribbles to the right baseline. Got a screen from Filipowski. Got all the way to the block. Took some contact and drew a foul. We'll see who they tag it on. And they say two shots as well. It will be on Edwards. And that is his first. And as the Blue Devils head to the line, we remind you that on the year, they have now made 482 free throws. And it tells us about Food Line being the proud sponsor of the score to get more program. Food Line has donated 30,000 meals to help our neighbors in need. After discussion, they've determined that the foul occurred on the floor, so the Blue Devils will inbound on the left baseline, right side of the hoop. Proctor to get it in, finds Roach in the right corner. He wants to drive, rises up from 15, and that's good as well. Jeremy Roach with his first bucket, and it's 5-2, to two, a minute 20 in. Blue Devils have knocked down their first two shots of the game. Brown across midcourt, drifts to the right. Now back to the top of the key, sends it over to the left and Wooden. He wants to drive McCain, backs out, dumps it off for Bickerstaff. To the baseline on Filipowski, underneath the hoop, trying to find a cutter, knocked loose and stolen by Flip. Three on three the other way. Roach for the trailer, McCain, thought about a three, drives, kicks to the right, Proctor steps to the left, and now they'll run some offense. In the left corner, Jeremy Roach. Man, Filipowski doing battle with Edwards, and that's number two. He picks up two fouls in the first two minutes, their leading score. That is huge development for James Madison. Edwards is their top player. He was the player of the year in the Sun Belt, their leader in scoring and assist. He's kind of the Kyle Filipowski of uh, the James Madison team. Everything goes through him. You're surprised they switched on to him having to defend the big guy because that's why he drew the foul at 6'6". Six, six. That's all Edwards could do. Meanwhile, McCain in the left corner wants to drive into the paint. A hop step, a little righty push shot wouldn't go. And the rebound in traffic for Friedel. Edwards did check out, by the way. And into the game for the first time, Raquan Horton, the junior out of South Carolina, whistle and a foul at the other end. Will be tagged on Jared McCain, and that's his first. He was uh, riding the back of the ball handler, trying to get into the lane. Easy call. So just over two minutes in, and the Blue Devils lead at 5-2 to two here in Brooklyn. The inbound Horton sends it to Brown at the center circle. Roach staring him down, but giving him space about five feet off of him as the primary defender. 14 to shoot. Drifts to the left, takes the screen, drives to the baseline, got airborne, bounces it out for Horton on the right. He wants to drive, kicks to the left. Wooden's going to try a three. It's short. The rebound fought for. JMU has it. In the paint, Bickerstaff tried to find a cutter, and Mitchell took it away. And he'll lead the break across midcourt. Mark picked up his dribble just across midcourt. Now he needs some help. Dumps it off for Roach, who curls to the left. An open driving lane. Scooped it up. Missed it. Filipowski, the offensive rebound. One dribble. Back up to throw it down. Filipowski determined to finish that play after he got the offensive. The rebound, no denying him at the rim. No field goals on Friday. Took him less than three minutes to scratch here tonight. And it's a 7-2 start for the Blue Devils. Brown up top. Drifts to the left. Probing at the elbow. Got inside. Knocked loose by Filipowski. In the corner, Brown chased it down. Nine to shoot. He'll take a three. Way too strong. And the rebound for the Blue Devils and Filipowski. Here comes Proctor across midcourt right to left. Greeted by Friedel. Gets a screen from Flip. Probing into the paint. Back to flip, left side three. Offline right, the rebound kicked out for Roach in a fresh 20. Proctor will reload, and it won't go again. And inside Brown, the catch. But the Blue Devils flowing right now, John. They certainly are moving well on offense, moving the ball, moving, more importantly, the JMU defense. Three and a half minutes in, they lead it 7-2. to two. Bickerstaff into the paint, trying to step through on flip. Got it blocked, but a foul is called. And that'll be the first on Filipowski, I believe. Two free throws coming for the Dukes. 
talks about the highest seeded win for them beating a five seed on Friday. They beat Arkansas State in their championship game. It was their first Sun Belt title. Of course, conferences change quite frequently these days. Their last league title came as a member of the CAA back in 2013. As we're waiting for Bickerstaff to get himself organized in the paint. Going to shoot the two free throws at 61% on the year. And the right-handed free throw shooter got the first. Bickerstaff, the former Boston College player, in his first year with JMU. It was a couple years at uh, BC, but he was voted the newcomer of the year in the Sun Belt this year. Obviously not a freshman newcomer, but a newcomer. Flip will come out first off the bench for John Shire tonight. The graduate student out of Stewartsville, New Jersey, Ryan Young, wearing number 15. His Bickerstaff second free throw is good. Young 6'10", 238. So Bickerstaff has all four of the points for James Madison, and the Blue Devils lead at 7-4 now. Not even four minutes in. Proctor to the left. There's Young. Faces up at the top of the key. Defended by Bickerstaff. Bounces it for McCain. Into the paint. He goes. Rises up. And didn't get the roll. Mitchell had the offensive rebound. Knocked out of bounds by JMU. The Blue Devils are three of eight from the field now, but they're getting good looks. One of three from deep. Meanwhile, the Dukes only have three shot attempts so far. As the Blue Devils have forced two turnovers in the early going. Proctor to inbound, having a hard time. Lobs it up top for Ryan Young. And now McCain with a catch. Looking inside, not there. To the right, there's Proctor. He wants to drive all the way in on Horton. Backs out, fades away, and scores. A pure jump shot from six feet out on the right. And the lead back to five, nine to four. Four minutes gone here in the opening half. Green up off the JMU bench. Feeds a bounce pass to Bickerstaff. In the paint on Roach. Back up top. Now it goes into the right corner. And Wooden, he's got a baseline drive on Mitchell. Missed the dunk. What a contest. And here comes Proctor the other way. Tyrese in transition. A crossover. A step back. Whipped it inside to Mitchell. Blocked from behind. They say cleanly. Mitchell gets it back. Going to work on a triple team. A kick out for McCain. Three. Got it. And it's a 12-4 start, four and a half minutes in. Great relocation pass by Mark Mitchell after he couldn't finish the first time. Jared McCain wide open for the catch and shoot. And the Blue Devil faithful rise to their feet. It's green for JMU. Whips it inside, a catch for Bickerstaff. Young crashes into him, and the foul will be on Young for sure. Will it be on the floor? We'll see. As the officials talk it over, Ryan picks up number one. And the question will be whether or not that's shooting or on the floor. They're going to talk it over. We're going to take a break. Just underway, 15-10 to play in the first half. The Blue Devils lead at 12-4. Actually, we're going to keep it here in Brooklyn. David Shumate alongside John Roth. John Rose, our producer and engineer. Kyle Schasperger back inside our network studios. And don't forget, today's game between Duke and James Madison is presented by Duke Stores. Visit shop.duke.edu, where real Duke fans shop. Well, when, when you look at the outset of this one, John, it, so much of the conversation coming in, and not just because of what James Madison did on Friday night, but you think about what they did in beating Michigan State in their season opener in East Lansing, 79-76 to in overtime. They got off to these very fast starts, kind of stunned the opposition. That's the James Madison piece. But from the Blue Devil perspective, it was better against Vermont on Friday, but the games before that, even the one they won in Raleigh and then the two at home against Carolina and then against NC State in the ACC tournament were characterized by very slow starts and having to fight uphill right from the outset. It certainly feels like the Blue Devils have come out here Everyone likes to use fighting metaphors this time of year. Swinging, <laughs> whichever cliche you want to use, 
as as physically imposing a game as they played last year in Orlando against Tennessee. That's a piece of it as well. The Blue Devils are certainly not shying away from the physical challenge here so far. Absolutely. I guess the one I'll go with is uh, trying to land the first punch, and I think they did do that in this contest. Uh, 12 to 4. Couldn't have asked for a much better start here. It certainly helps when Jared McCain has knocked down two three pointers out there on the perimeter here in the first five minutes of play. But uh, the second one in particular, set up by particularly strong, aggressive, physical play inside under the basket. The Blue Devils trying to score at the rim were denied, but Mark Mitchell wouldn't give up on the play and came up with the rebound and got it back outside to McCain. So they've done a good job there on the offensive end being physical, but also they've challenged JMU on the defensive end, and they've already got a block shot, and they've stopped JMU's almost all their penetration to try to drive to the basket. And we should mention as well that JMU's, after the first two minutes, has been playing without their best player, Edwards, who picked up his second foul at 18-12. So that's been a point in the Blue Devils' favor as well, and the aggressive play kind of led to that. But for the Blue Devils here, uh, it's been a, a, a good start, a start that they certainly wanted to have against this James Madison team. I also think it's worth noting, there have been times this year, and really every team falls into this at times. When you take a hit inside or you feel like you've been found, you can get caught up in the officiating. You mentioned that play by Mark. Kyle's been out there a few times. They're not even worried about it, John. They're just taking the hit, keep on playing, getting the rebound, and it turned into, as you said, a kick out three. Yeah, it's kind of playing through contact, and so far here early in this game, they've already got four offensive rebounds, and seven of their 12 points have been second chance points. The foul on Ryan Young before we went to break. The officials are talking about it at length. They determined he was shooting, so it'll be Bickerstaff at the line to shoot two more. And the right-handed free throw shooter hits the first. He's really seen a jump in his production uh, since coming to JMU last year. Boston College only averaged a little more than five points and 5.6 rebounds. But this year, 13.4 points and 8.5 rebounds per game. He's been a key contributor for them, although he misses this free throw. And Filipowski has the rebound. So the lead is 7, 12 to 5, five minutes in in Brooklyn. Phil Lepowski at the top of the key. Works it to the left. There's Jeremy Roach off of a screen. Step by flip. Jeremy at the free throw line. Lobs to the corner. McCain going to launch again. And that's his third. And something to say to the Duke bench on the way by. The Duke's bench, I should say. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have that all night. But Jared McCain, he hopes he has that all night. Three for three from three. And the lead is 10, not even six minutes in. Nearly a theft by Filipowski. Fortunate not to get called for the reach-in. Backing down inside Friedel. Spins on Proctor. Goes up. Blocked by Flip. Had three rejections on Friday. That's his first tonight. He just sent that one back into the baseline where all the cheerleaders are hanging out with a lot of force. And it'll be Horton to inbound right baseline. Waiting. Trying to get Bickerstaff loose in the right corner. He catches in front of McCain. Now up top it's Friedel. A bounce pass to the baseline. Horton low with the dribble. Trying to back down McCain. McCain tripped. So Horton spun and scored off the right window. And McCain just lost his footing. And it's 15-7 to with 14-19 to play in the half. Roach across midcourt. Greeted by Green. Now Filipowski at the top of the key. Heads to the right. Backing down. Lost the basketball. But it came to Proctor. He lost it again. Into backcourt. That'll be a turnover. And that'll be the Blue Devils' first turnover of the evening. As we see coming into the game for James Madison, Jalen Carey, the younger brother of Vernon Carey Jr., freshman out of Davie, Florida. 6'8", at 245. A spitting image of his older brother. Not quite as tall. You wouldn't, you might think in the face that they were identical twins. Green has it on the left, back up top for Carey. Now further to the right, it goes in Horton. Looking back door for Friedel. Catches in front of Filipowski. Goes up. Missed the layup. Flipped the rebound and outlet pass for Jeremy Roach. Three on three. Right to left. Jeremy nearly fell down. Collects himself. Alfred Proctor. He'll take the three. And it won't go. And the rebound inside for James Madison. The Blue Devils now three of seven from deep. All three of the makes coming from McCain. At the other end, it's Green. Into the paint. Fed it off to Carey. And a reach and foul going to be called on Roach. And he's holding his arm like something hurts. Right over to Jose Fonseca. And that is a scary sign for the Blue Doubles as their senior captain having an issue with perhaps a finger, it looks like. It is on his left hand, and they're tending to it at the end of the Blue Double bench, and it'll be Carey to shoot two. Roach, you'd think they'd be able to sub him out because of the injury. I know you normally have to wait until the first whistle, but they're going to let Jalen Blakes come in. Actually, let everybody come in now before the first free throw is shot. Jalen Blakes, junior guard, 6'2", 204 to Somerset, New Jersey, wearing number two. And Sean Stewart also going to come in. Freshman Ford, 6'9", 227, out of Windermere, Florida. And they continue to tend to Jeremy Roach at the end of the bench. He's really doubled over in pain 
uh, as Jose works on his hand. As Carey's first free throw is good. And you see team doctors over there. Jeff Bytomski. Ned Amendola over there as well. As the second free throw for Carey is short and the rebound for Stewart. So the Blue Double lead is 7, 15 to 8. All the attention on Jeremy Roach at the end of the bench. 13-28 to play in the half. Proctor off of a screen set by Filipowski. Probing, kicks to the corner. Blakes has it now. 15 feet out on the right. Dribbles up top. Bounces it for flip. Kyle thought about a three. Instead, he'll drive Carey and draw a foul. And that'll be the first on Jalen Carey. Third on the Dukes. And Roach's injury you know, brings up and reinforces the point that uh, the Blue Devils are without Caleb Foster for this NCAA tournament. Certainly, he's been a major part of the Duke guard rotation and started several games during the regular season, but out with an injury and uh, leaves the Blue Devils uh, short while Jeremy Roach is being tended to. I don't speculate too much, but the way he was holding it, I believe it might be a finger. Something happened with a finger, and they're tending to that as Filipowski sends it up top for McCain. Jared backs out, leaves it for Filipowski. Kyle with nine to shoot, going to work on Carey, spins him to the free throw line, kicks to the right, blakes a three. Too strong, the rebound for Stewart, momentarily tapped it out to flip. Now to left Proctor, he's wide open, and he hits a three. Tyrese Proctor from deep, and the lead back to 10, 18 to eight. Another one of those Duke shots, relocation after a missed shot out to an open man on the perimeter. 12.45 to play in the half, spinning on the left, Horton trying to drive Stewart, steps through, whistle and a foul. That'll be on Stewart, I believe. That's his first and already the fifth on the team. And more free throws coming for James Madison. As we look over the bench, Jeremy Roach in a world of pain, leaning his head back, his right hand with his finger, his thumb and forefinger just on his nose. He has to look away as they're tending to, it looks to be one of the fingers on his left hand. Horton's first free throw, by the way, is good. Hits him at a 71% clip, and back into the game comes Terrence Edwards with two fouls. So he sat for less than six minutes for James Madison as Wooden will leave. Uh, Roach is now talking to Neil Begovich, one of the reserves on the team. That's a good sign. Second free throw rattled out. James Madison's already been to the free throw line eight times. They're five out of eight. And it'll be Tyrese Proctor to bring it across, leading by nine. 18 to nine, seven and a half minutes in. Proctor to the right baseline, step back, thought about it. Instead, he'll feed it up top for Jared McKay. Lob it for Kyle Filipowski. Flip, looking to the left, nothing there. Dribbles, hands off Proctor. Room to shoot if he wants to, he will. And hit again! The Blue Devils are filling it up from deep. They're five out of nine, and they lead by 12. 21 to 9. James Madison into front court with Green. Drifts to the right. A screen from Carey from the baseline. Waiting, waiting. Bounced it to Carey. Carey on Filipowski. Knocked loose by McCain and taken away. In transition up by 12. It's Proctor back for McCain. He'll launch. Bang! Jared McCain from deep. And it's 24 to 9. And JMU wants a timeout. It'll extend to a full. We'll take it as well. The Blue Devils filling it up from outside. Six out of ten. And we step aside with them up by 15. For generations, hardworking people have relied on Ford F-Series trucks to help grow businesses, communities, families. A legacy of capability and technology that has made Ford F-Series America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. This is the next generation of built Ford Tough. Based on 1977 to 2023 calendar year total sales. He'll fire, and it's good! This is Duke head men's basketball coach John Shire. When it comes to keeping our team healthy, we turn to the team at Duke Sports Medicine. We offer full-service sports medicine care at locations throughout the Triangle where you can see the same experts used by Duke Athletics. Make an appointment or learn more at dukehealth.org slash sportsmedicine. Go Duke! The crowd loves that.
leading James Madison 24 to 9, 11 46 to play in the opening half of the second round matchup of the NCAA men's basketball tournament. This broadcast, the NCAA Division I Men's Basketball Championship, is authorized under broadcast rights granted by the NCAA through Westwood One. It is intended solely for the private, non-commercial use of our audience. Any reproduction, retransmission, or other use of the broadcast without the express written consent of the NCAA and Westwood One is strictly prohibited. Kyle Schasperger, David Shumate, John Roth, and John Rose with you. They're at the Barclays Center. I'm inside Studio 12 tracking a 6-0 run for the Blue Devils over the last 30 seconds. A pair of threes. First, it was Tyrese Proctor, and then it was Jared McCain. Carry on Filipowski, knocked loose by McCain and taken away. In transition, up by 12. It's Proctor back for McCain. He'll launch. Bang! Jared McCain from deep. And it's 24 to 9. And JMU wants a timeout. So if you're tracking at home, we've played just over eight full minutes. McCain is 4 of 4 from downtown. He's got 12 points. Blue Devils has a team, David. 6 of 10. Yeah, that'll work. Um, by the way, the Blue Devils have made nine shots from the field. James Madison has nine points. As we welcome you back inside of the Barclays Center. John Roth, we've seen this movie before. Jared McCain holds the freshman record with eight three-pointers in a single game. That was, of course, in Tallahassee when he put up 35. He had seven before the break. He's four out of four here in the first half, and we still got 11.46 to play in it. Absolutely, and uh, as that development takes place, we also see Jeremy Roach headed back to the Duke locker room uh, to get more treatment back there. But, yeah, we've seen that movie, and uh, that was a 25-point first half for him in that game against uh, Florida State. And uh, he, he certainly has that look, but he's been complimented today by Tyrese Proctor, who's also knocked down a couple. So Duke's made six. James Madsen hasn't made a three yet, just two out of seven overall from the floor. Widows, of course, the best three-point shooting team in the ACC this year, better than 37%. They had six makes from deep the entire game against Vermont. Not the case here this afternoon. Edwards with it for JMU. Crossing over on Filipowski. Thought about a three instead inside to carry on Stewart. Got it blocked. Late whistle and a foul coming. And it'll be on Sean, and that's his second. Well, early in the game, Edwards picked up two quick fouls for James Madison. Since then, the Blue Devils have been whistled for six, and the Dukes just won. It'll be James Madison at the free throw line when we come back. Another break, 11.30 to play in our first half. The Blue Devils lead at 24-9. to Let me grab my car keys, and we'll roll. We still going to that new bar downtown? Yeah, it's supposed to be fun. Lexi, give me driving directions from home to downtown bar district. Autocorrect. Suggest Uber. Pick up. Home. Drop off downtown bar district. No, I'm driving. Suggest the metro bus. Departing in 12 minutes. <laughs> Point taken, Lexi. We'll grab a ride. If you drink, don't drive. Decide to ride. Brought to you in partnership by Anheuser Bush, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, and Uber. You're listening to Duke Basketball in the NCAA Tournament. More from Brooklyn after this local break. It's game day, a day where great food, friends, and family always come together. And bringing people together is what Harris Teeter is all about. We make sure you have the best and most delicious game day foods. Whether you're heading to the arena or making your own tailgate at home, Harris Teeter is where Blue Devil fans shop for groceries. And you can save big on your game day celebration just by joining EVIC. Sign up today and save hundreds of dollars per month. Harris Teeter, let's game day together. Steel gives you more than just reliable landscaping tools. Steel gives you battery-powered equipment trusted by the pros. From mowers and blowers to chainsaws and trimmers, take on your outdoor space with the name Pros Trust. Right now, save $20 on the VGA57 battery blower set, including the AK20 battery and AL101 battery charger. Real Steel. Find yours at steeldealers.com. Available for a limited time at participating dealers while supplies last. Here in Brooklyn, where the Blue Devils have stormed out of the gates, leading 24 to 9. Not even nine minutes in, 11.30 to play in our first half. David Schumann alongside John Roth. John Rose, our producer and engineer, back inside our network studios, is Kyle Schasperger. Don't forget, 
That Blue Devil Basketball is brought to you in part by Coca-Cola. Is Coach Hero Sugar the best Coke ever? That's a bold question. It's got that irresistible taste to back it up. Too bad you can't taste with your ears because this Coke Zero Sugar is really amazing. You have to take a taste for yourself. Coke Zero Sugar. Is it the best Coke ever? John. I just can't imagine the Blue Devil head coach, John Shire, could have drawn up anything better to start this game. They even got better news coming out of the break as Jeremy Roach emerged in the locker room, went over, talked to the team, and then went over and checked in. He's back on the floor. We can tell you his pinky and ring finger on his left hand are taped together. I, the way he's flexing it, you don't want to speculate too much, but and the way they're working on him, it, it might have been dislocated, one of those two. We think it might be the pinky, but we're not exactly certain. And probably a lot of that pain we saw was when they were trying to pop it back into place. Yeah. That's what we would guess, but... Uh, the good thing that we don't have to guess about is he's back out on the floor for the Blue Devils. As Carey misses a free throw out of the timeout, the Dukes are now five out of nine at the line. The Blue Devils have yet to attempt a free throw. And because of the turnovers for JMU, they got three. The blocks for the Blue Devils as the second free throw for Carey rimmed out. The rebound for McCain. They've only taken seven shots from the field. They're two out of seven, 0 for two from three. Meanwhile, the Blue Devils is better than 50%, nine of 17, and six of 10 from outside. Roach with it now, sends it to the left, and Filipowski. And now up top, Mark Mitchell catches. Faces up, sends it to the left, there's Proctor. Looking inside, boy, carry all over Filipowski. Leaves a driving lane for Proctor. Wild scoop, missed it, rebound, fought for JMU has it. And here come the Dukes left to right. Edwards a crossover, got into the paint, nearly lost it, got it back and laid it in. So those are his first points, nine minutes in, and it's 24 to 11. As we drift under 11 minutes to play in our first half. They certainly missed his offense while Duke was rolling up a 24-9 lead. Yeah, their leading score at 17 a game. Filipowski catches top of the key, dribbles to the left, finds Tyrese Proctor off of a flip screen. Steps back, flip thrown to the deck by Carey inside and a whistle. Here's McCain on the right, defended by Edwards, 10 to shoot. He'll drive, kick to the left, Roach will take the three. A high arcer that's too strong, and the rebound taken down by Brown and James Madison. He hands it off for Green. Green curling on Carey at the free throw line. Has Proctor on the hip pocket. Fed Carey off the window and in off the right. Carey has his first field goal. And it's 24 to 13 as we approach the midway point of the opening half. On the right, it's Jared McCain. Off of a screen set by Edwards. Sends it for Mitchell, top of the key. Now hands it off for Tyrese Proctor. Off of a screen set by Mitchell. Fed it for Flip on the right. Further to the right and Jeremy Roach, a shoulder shake, a screen from Filipowski, rises up at the free throw line, rimmed out, the rebound for Carey and James Madison, nearly walked, trying to get the outlet pass out of there, now Brown has it. Blue Devils still lead by 11 as Edwards has it in front of us along the right sideline. Dribbles to the top of the key, Filipowski has him on a switch, backs out, waiting, crossover, pump fake, kicks to the right, Horton to the baseline, Carey nearly knocked loose by McCain. Carey trying to back Jarrett down at the right block. Here comes a double team. Spins out of it, sends it to the left, into the corner it goes. A ball fake from Edwards. Three to shoot. Two and one. Going to have to launch. Missed the three. And the rebound for Mark Mitchell. Outstanding defense. And here come the Blue Doubles up by 11. Blue Doubles, they'll have it scored in about two and a half minutes. See if McCain can change that. A shake of the left hand shots. to call out the play. Yeah. Jared drives a right, bodied up by Edwards, sends it back up top for Filipowski, right back to Jared. Ten to shoot, into the paint, drives inside, scoops, and scores with the right hand. A soft touch, and Jared McCain is absolutely sizzling. He's got 14. And the Boodles are doubling up the Dukes, 26 to 13, as we drift under nine minutes to play in the half. McCain has outscored them individually. Brown off of the screen set by Carey, probing the left baseline. Proctor has him. Now back up top. It comes for Carey. A couple of dribbles to the right. Picked up his dribble. Bounced it off. Edwards is open. Couldn't shoot over Mitchell. We're under 10 seconds on the shot clock. Edwards dancing with Filipowski. Nearly knocked loose. Drives him. Forgot the basketball. Three to shoot. Two and one. Forced it. Missed it. The rebound for McCain. Edwards holding his face. Still down behind the play. Five on four. It's Roach on the right. Back to the left. McCain inside Mitchell. What a find on Carey. Goes up. A lot of contact, no whistle, and here comes Edwards the other way. Edwards driving McCain into the paint. Mitchell couldn't block it as he lays it in. He's got four, and it's 26 to 15 with eight minutes to play in the first half. A really good drive, the length of the court by Edwards. Proctor across midcourt. Between the legs, fed Filipowski up top. Works it to the left, there's McCain. 
Jarrett off of a screen set by Flip. Probing has Edwards on his hip pocket into the paint. Oh, what a find to Flip to throw it down. How about that? Jared McCain drew a lot of defenders. They all collapsed on him when he got to the free throw line, and Flip just skipped around behind them all, took the bounce pass for the finish. 28-15, 7.35 to go in the half. On the left, Brown, back up top, carry. The Blue Devils chase away from him. He takes a three, misses it badly. The rebound for McCain. Carry this year, 6 of 20 from three now. Think about all the threes the Blue Devils have hit. They have seven assists on their 11 made shots. Here's McCain off of the screen sent by Mitchell. Probing, backs out, launches again. Oh, my goodness. Jaron McCain, lethal. And the lead is 16. Five for five for Jaron from beyond the arc. Green into the paint on flip. A high runner that's good off the window. His first field goal. The two teams trading baskets, but the Blue Devils are up by a couple of touchdowns. 31-17 as we go under seven minutes to play in the half. McCain feeling it. Off of a screen set by Mitchell. Probing. Backs out. Draws a foul, and that'll be the first on Brown. And the fourth on James Madison. Let's catch our breath. Our breath, I should say. Either. <laughs> 6.39 to go until halftime. It's Duke 31, JMU 17 here in Brooklyn. Duke fans, customize your car wash experience today with the new Zips Car Wash mobile app. Download the app today and start earning points with every in-app purchase. And get access to app-exclusive offers that save you money. Zips Unlimited members can even earn points for monthly membership purchases. Plus, when you download the app today, your first car wash is on us. Available for iOS and Android. Zips has 33 locations across North Carolina to serve you. Download the Zips Car Wash app today. Would you like to learn how AI-driven financial strategies can empower you to meet evolving challenges with confidence? OneStream can help you do just that. It's the next generation intelligent finance platform that streamlines corporate performance management processes such as planning, forecasting, financial close and consolidation. Choose the smarter option. Choose OneStream. Go to onestream.com forward slash AI and streamline your business today. He'll fire, and it's good! This is Duke head men's basketball coach John Shire. When it comes to keeping our team healthy, we turn in the team at Duke Sports Medicine. We offer full-service sports medicine care at locations throughout the Triangle where you can see the same experts used by Duke Athletics. Make an appointment or learn more at dukehealth.org slash sportsmedicine. Go Duke! The crowd loves that. It's James Madison, 31 to 17 now, a 14-point advantage. They've been ahead by as many as 16 with 6.39 to go in the opening half from Brooklyn in this second round matchup in the NCAA tournament. Kyle Shasper go with you, and Blue Devils are 7 of 12 from downtown. And for the freshman, Jared McCain, he is on some kind of a heater. Here's McCain off of the screen set by Mitchell. Probing, backs out, launches again. Oh, my goodness! Jaron McCain, lethal! And the lead is 16. Five for five for Jaron from beyond the arc. And he's got 17.6 of eight from the floor. John Roth with a closer look at some of the numbers here thus far. All right, thanks, Kyle. Our in-game stats are presented by Steel. Step up your game with Steel Battery Tools. Overall, Duke hitting 50% from the floor thus far in this half, a 12 out of 24. They've taken 10 more shots than James Madison has. The Dukes are 6 out of 14, and Kyle mentioned Duke having knocked down seven threes. James Madison has yet to hit a three. On the other hand, the Dukes have been to the free throw line 10 times. They've made five. Duke has not yet been to the free throw line. And then rebounding, Duke's got a healthy 15 to 9 lead on the board so far. Leading score for the Dukes so far has been Bickerstaff with five, and we mentioned McCain at 17, and Proctor with eight to lead the Blue Devils scoring attack, David. And of course, as you said, McCain has made all five of his threes. He's already tied the freshman record for three pointers in an NCAA tournament game. JJ Reddick did it against Central Michigan. Trey Jones ran that game against Virginia Tech. Oh, yes. And he did it. The program record by any player, seven. That's certainly within reach. In the NCAAs? Yep. Yeah. Nine is in reach. 
and certainly the eight he made in Tallahassee well within range. He's got it again at the top of the key. Thought about launching. He'll drive this time, scoop it up, take some contact, whistle and a foul. And it'll be on James Madison for sure. I think it's going to be on Wooden. And we tried this before. Let's do it again. Little bit hit the free throw line. They have made 482 free throws this year. And of course, Food Line is the proud sponsor of the Score to Get More program. And this season, they've donated 30,000 meals to help our neighbors in need. Yes, and they haven't changed it to a foul on the floor. It's the so two free throws for McCain. And of course, he makes it. He's got 18 of the 32. James Madison has 17. Jared shakes the right hand loose. Knocks them both down. There are guys that can get on a heater, and then there's different kind of guys that can get on a heater, and he's in that different category. <laughs> no question. No question. He's got 19 points in 14 minutes. A lob at the other end. Bickerstaff high to claim it, but couldn't shoot. In the paint, rises up over Mitchell, around and out on the banker. They fight for the rebound. Young knocked it loose. Proctor has it. A chance to add to a 16-point lead. It's Proctor up top. Mitchell now to the left. Who else? McCain. Drives on Wooden into the paint, kicks to the right. Proctor will launch that three short. The rebound tipped by Mitchell came to Young. In a triple team, had it knocked loose. JMU couldn't save it out of bounds. As laying along the baseline is Friedel. The Blue Devils will get it back up 33 to 17. Now 12 of 25 from the field and 7 of 13 from deep. They're out rebounding the Dukes 17 to 9. It's Proctor to inbound right baseline, finding Roach on a curl. 15 feet out on the baseline. On the hip pocket is Green, so he stepped through and laid it in. Jeremy Roach, so crafty. He's got four, and the Blue Devils have their biggest lead of the night, 35-17. to 17. It's 18 with 5.40 to go in the half. A handoff for Friedel, and Proctor going to get called for a hole chasing the shooter for James Madison. Friedel at 38% has yet to take a three tonight. He's 0 for 2 from the field. Certainly coming off of a big weekend for him at the Sun Belt, though, where he was the actual Sun Belt Tournament MVP, averaging 17 points a game for them as they won three games to take that title. That is the seventh team foul. So Friedel to the line for a one and one. As we see more substitutions for James Madison as Brown and Horton return. Randleman and Green head out. And now Friedel looking for his first point of the day. At the charity strike, front end of the 1-1 one and one is no good, and the rebound for Ryan Young. So the Blue Devils can add to this 18-point cushion, and the Blue Devils faithful rise to their feet across from us behind the Blue Devils bench. Young catches at the top of the key. Faces up, waiting, waiting. Fed McCain. Jared staring down Friedel. Dumped it off for Roach as he was falling down, but able to save the possession. Now Jeremy to the left of the center circle. Gets a screen from Young. Crashed into by Bickerstaff. Five to shoot. Roach on the drive. Into the paint. Kicks to the left. Proctor a three. Didn't get the roll. Young an offensive rebound. Goes back up and didn't score, but he's fouled and will shoot two. The Blue Devils getting everything they want right now. Wooden picks up his second. Young working the boards. Had three or four boards already since He's been in the game just a couple of minutes for Filipowski, and overall a 10-rebound advantage by Duke over the Dukes. And when they're not scoring, they're getting the rebound. Seven offensive rebounds and already 12 second-chance points. So they have missed 14 shots. They've gotten offensive rebounds on half of them, and now Young at the free throw line rattles home the first. As Jalen Blakes returns, Proctor heads out. And here is a young man... Now to Stewart Hill, New Jersey, trying to make it a 20-point lead with still more than five minutes to play in the first half. On the way. Too strong. And the rebound for Friedel. So it's 36-17 with exactly five minutes to go in the first half here in Brooklyn. Edwards. Working his way to the left. A handoff for Brown off of a screen set by Bickerstaff. Back up top it comes for Friedel. Wants to drive McCain in on Young. Dumped it off underneath and Young commits the foul as Bickerstaff went up. And that'll be the second on Ryan Young. And free throw is coming for JMU. Sean Stewart also has two. Those are the two Blue Devils uh, whose fouls we are monitoring closely at this point. Nobody else with uh, more than one. How about James Madison? This was a team, as we said, won their opener against Michigan State in overtime, but then went to Kent State and won double overtime, 113 to 108. Reeled off 14 straight to start the season, the longest winning streak in program history as the first free throw was rattled home by Bickerstaff. They actually were ranked 
for eight weeks from November 13th through January 1st, as high as 18th, fell out of the rankings as they lost three out of seven in a stretch in the middle of the season. But they haven't lost since January 27th. Yeah, all their losses were in the month of January. They were four out of, four and three in January, two of those to Appalachian State, which won the regular season in the Sun Belt. Bickerstaff knocks down a pair at the line, and it's 36-19 with 4.43 to play in the half. Roach across midcourt, greeted by Brown. Off of the screen, set by Filipowski. Jeremy right back to flip, slicing in on Bickerstaff. Off the window and in, just way too strong. And Kyle Filipowski adds to the lead. It's 38-19. He's got six. 4.24 to go until the break. Bickerstaff sends it to the left in Friedel. The shoulder shake, trying to get by McCain. Did, got to the baseline, dumped it off. Stolen by Blakes. Nice job to cut in front of Bickerstaff, who was slicing to the hoop. Here's Roach at the other end. Waiting, sends it for Filipowski, right back to Jeremy. We approach four minutes to play in the half. The Bootles by 19. Here's Flip into the paint on Bickerstaff. Scoop it home with the left hand. A little bully ball from Flip. And a timeout for James Madison. This will extend to a full. We'll take it as well. 4-0-1 to play in the half. The Blue Devils rolling here in the round of 32. It's 40 to 19. It's tournament time for your Blue Devils. You can show your support of Duke all year long by purchasing authentic Duke merchandise from DukeStore.com. Our huge assortment of Duke apparel means you won't have to go anywhere else for the perfect T-shirt, jersey, sweatshirt, or hat. The only collection of Duke merchandise in the world that actually comes to you directly from Duke University. DukeStore.com, where real Duke fans shop. Duke, James Madison. Pins, oh, and he throws it down. We'll have more from Brooklyn after this local break. It's bow time. Sometimes the craving for Bojangles Supremes is so strong, you just got to have them. Even when your gas tank is on empty and Bojangles is still 10 miles down the highway. Nothing beats the flavor of Bojangles Juicy Golden Supremes, especially when they're part of a perfect combo with four boldly seasoned chicken Supremes, a made-from-scratch biscuit, fixin', and some legendary iced tea. The only thing that can satisfy your hunger is that delicious southern flavor. So when the craving is supreme, put the pedal to the metal. It's bow time. <laughs> Hey, pork rind lovers, are you ready for a new low-carb salad topper with bold flavor? Croutonez Pork Rind Croutons will be your new go-to topper. Try them on salads, soups, or as an on-the-go snack. Croutonez have the protein-packed crunch that will wake up your taste buds while curbing the carbs. Find Southern Recipe Small Batch Croutonez in the Crouton aisle at Food Lion today. have knocked down five of their last seven field goals lead by their largest margin at 21 40 19 over jmu 401 to play in the first half kyle shasper inside studio 21 jared mccain continues to lead everyone in scoring with 19 points and then it's tyrese proctor with eight and also kyle filipowski roach at the other end waiting sends it for filipowski right back to jeremy we approach four minutes to play in the half the blue doubles by 19 here's flip into the paint on picker staff scoop it home with the left hand a little bully ball from flip and a timeout for James Madison. Coming up, we will have more of the highlights from the first half at halftime. Also set the table for the rest of the evening, the NCAA tournament, as other teams look to punch their way into the Sweet 16. Two, an update on Duke women's basketball. They win for the second time in the women's tournament, overcoming a deficit of 16 points against Ohio State earlier tonight. David? All right, thank you very much, Kyle. As the Blue Devils have their biggest lead of the day at 21. By the way, this is also the biggest deficit of the season for James Madison. Not a position they have been in very often. As the Blue Devils have come out swinging. And they lead it 40-19. to And James Madison with only two timeouts remaining now. The rest of the game. Here's Bickerstaff. To the left. They send it back up top for Brown. Jumps up from three over Roach. Missed it short. The long rebound chased down by James Madison. Edwards crossing over into the paint on Filipowski. Spins, fades away, left it short. Whistle, I think Flip's going to get tagged for a foul on the initial shot. And that'll be his second. So there aren't many areas of concern. But you do have three of the four big guys with two fouls now. Flip, Young, and Stewart. And two free throws coming for Edwards. John Shire didn't like the call. James Madison back to the free throw line 
they've gotten more made free throws than field goals in this game. Seven for 13 from the line, six for 17 from the field. Edwards just shy of 82%. Right-handed free throw shooter. Missed the first. Don't forget the Bally Sports has the inside scoop on all things Duke Athletics. Kick off your weekend with expert analysis, coach interviews, and game highlights on Duke All Access every Friday at 2 o'clock on Bally Sports and the Bally Sports app. Of course, next week will be our season finale. As the second free throw for Edwards is good. He's got five. Blue Devils will see Mitchell, Roach, Young, McCain, and Blakes out there. Kalapowski to the bench with those two fouls. We'll be surprised if we see him before intermission. As Roach sends it for Mitchell at the free throw line. Straight line drive and a right hand punch. He had the whole avenue of the lane to attack, and he certainly did with the one hand throwdown. 42 to 20. We approach three minutes to play in a dominant first half for John Shire's group. Horton up top. Bickerstaff a handoff. Friedel a three. Good. The first three for James Madison. The first field goal and points for Friedel. Make it 42-23. And some three-quarter court pressure. Here's McCain across midcourt. Dumped it off for Mitchell. Here's a cutter in Blakes. Driving in. Put it up. And he'll shoot two. And the James Madison bench protesting because that is three on Julian Wooden. They tried to indicate that he had his arms extended straight up, but he was also in the air. And it'll be Blakes to shoot two. He hasn't take a ton this, taken a ton this year, but he has made 12 of the 13 he's taken so far, better than 92%. For the junior out of Somerset, New Jersey. And the first one here is good. So his first points and his first field goal since February 17th the other night against Vermont. Played good minutes, eight minutes. Had those three steals, the runaway bucket. And now a chance to build the lead beyond 20 again. And he does that with the second free throw. And as Proctor comes back in. And it's 44-23 with 2.56 to go in our first half. Roach, Proctor, Young. McCain and Mitchell, the five on the floor for the Blue Devils. Here's a handoff for Friedel. Awkward looking three on the right is too strong. The rebound chased down by McCain. Blue Devils up 20 to 11 on the glass now. And calmly bringing it across. By the way, McCain with those 19 points. He also leads the team in rebounding, tied with Flip, four piece. Doing a little bit of everything. He's open on the right, three ball up. Got it again! Six out of six, and it's 47-23. 22 for McCain with two minutes and 20 seconds to go in the half. Edwards has it now for James Madison. Bickerstaff looking to the right. Drives, backs down on Young, forced it up. Too strong, Young the rebound. Here's Roach across midcourt up by 24. McCain hanging out in the right corner. Proctor has it at the top of the key. A look to the bench for the play call. Jared with that cold-blooded look in his eye, just standing in front of the JMU bench. 10 to shoot. It's Young. They're trying to deny McCain. McCain won't let him. Five to shoot. Up top, four and three. Lobs it for Young into the paint. Back outside Roach to the corner. Proctor. The three won't go. Weak side rebound for Friedel. 90 seconds to play in the half. Duke by 24. Friedel for Bickerstaff. Works his way to the right. Now backs out of it. Finds Edwards. Edwards thinking about it. Can't launch over Mitchell to the baseline. It goes in Bickerstaff. Proctor defending. Tries to drive him. Got to the baseline. Nearly stepped out of bounds. Threw it away. Young out of there with it. 70 seconds to go in the half. The Blue Devils have that use it or lose it timeout, and they're going to burn it here. We'll break for 30 with Duke up by 24. At Reed's Jewelers, we know that the rules of engagement were made to be broken. So don't settle for the first ring you see in the case. When you put a ring on it, make the moment your own with something that's just as unique as your love. Whether you're going big, keeping it subtle, or finding a happy medium, we're here to help you say I do with a one-of-a-kind design. Because doing things your way is what makes them mean everything. Reed's Jewelers, an official partner of Blue Devil Sports. Visit your local Reed's Jewelers in-store or online at reeds.com to chat with an expert. 106 to go in our opening half. If you're just joining us, where have you been? <laughs> You've missed 
a Jared McCain masterpiece. It's 47 to 23. He's got 22, seven of nine from the field, and six of six from three. It's been amazing shooting by Jared McCain without saying, obviously, but Kyle Filipowski's also done a nice job of anchoring the middle of the floor, and Tyrese Proctor has popped in a couple of threes and a drive or two, and so we've gotten contributions up and down here, and uh, right now looking to uh, try to finish the half strong. McCain did on right side after the time. Gets it for Young, and now Tyrese Proctor. One minute to go in the half. Tyrese being stared down by Randleman. Content to work the clock, 10 to shoot. A screen from Ryan Young. Drifts to the right, crossover. Proctor on the drive, into the paint, scooped it, and turned it over. Bickerstaff took it away. A rare chance for JMU to run. It's Friedel on the right to lay it in. For the Blue Devils, just turnover number two, but you see how quickly JMU can strike in transition if you do turn it over, and it's 47-25 as we had 30 seconds to play in the half. About an eight-second differential shot clock and game clock. The Blue Devils can get one more good look here before the break. McCain, a quick peek to the clock. 12 to shoot. Man, Friedel crashes out at him. Jared with eight. It's a screen from Mitchell. Drifts to the left. Waiting. Launches. Too strong. The long rebound for Randleman and JMU. Long hit in for Friedel, and they threw it out of bounds. JMU gave it right back. John Shire looking across court at Tony Anderson saying Jared McCain got hit. That would make sense. That's probably the only way he could miss right now. And that one was dead on. Just hit the back of the rim. So eight seconds to add to a 22-point lead. Proctor down the court. Kicks cross court. Knocked out of bounds by JMU with 1.7 to go in the half. Probably should be about 2.5. That clock kept rolling. And it'll be the Blue Devils to inbound near the corner along the left side line. About 47 to 25. They'll get Wooden back into the game, JMU, defensively and bring Randleman out. Proctor will be the inbounder. If you're wondering about McCain, he's on the short side of the floor, beyond the three-point line, on the left. Now he chases to the right. Waiting, waiting. They get it to McCain. Left side three. No. But that's about the only thing that's gone wrong here in a dominant first half as the Blue Devils lead by 22 at the break. 47 to 25. Jared McCain. What else can you say? Seven of 11 shooting, six of eight from three. He had four rebounds, an assist and 22 points. Meanwhile, Jeremy Roach had four assists. The team had 11 on 17 makes. They had eight threes, and they out-rebounded JMU 21 to 13. And now they're 20 minutes away from the Sweet 16, up by 22, 47 to 25, as we send it to the studio and Kyle. Thanks so much, David. What an otherworldly performance from the freshman, Jared McCain. 47, 25, 22 point advantage, 22 for McCain. We'll take you through some of his highlights, some of the, his teammates' highlights as well. Coming up at halftime, we'll touch on the out of town scoreboard, other NCAA tournament action today, eight games in all, as we look to finalize the Sweet 16 ahead of the second weekend of the tournament coming up next week update on duke women's basketball as well 47 25 22 point lead for duke and our halftime show is heading your way next here on the blue devil sports network from learfield it's game day a day where great food friends and family always come together and bringing people together is what harris teeter is all about we make sure you have the best and most delicious game day foods whether you're heading to the arena or making your own tailgate at home, Harris Teeter is where Blue Devil fans shop for groceries. And you can save big on your game day celebration just by joining EVIC. Sign up today and save hundreds of dollars per month. Harris Teeter, let's game day together. I feel happy, Valero Pay Plus app. I feel happy, it makes savings a snap. Use it and start saving automatically. You just save some money. Not too shy. I feel happy. I'm in and out real fast. I feel happy. Nothing stops our blast. I love today and get in on the fun. The little papers that you say it's heavy gun. Blue Devils, James Madison. Steps to the left, launches, count it. More from Brooklyn after this local break. 
Since our doors first opened in 1988, the Washington Duke Inn and Golf Club has celebrated the contributions of its namesake, paying tribute to a life of community service and philanthropy. This is the cornerstone of our commitment to the Durham community. Duke family artifacts and photographs can be found throughout the hallways of the inn. Visit us as we continue to celebrate tradition over trend, as we have for more than 30 years. For reservations, visit us at WashingtonDukeInn.com. That's WashingtonDukeInn.com. Which schools will take home the prestigious Learfield Director's Cup for the 2023-24 college athletic season? You can follow the standings of your favorite school or alma mater at L Director's Cup on Twitter and online at thedirectorscup.com. That's thedirectorscup.com and L Director's Cup on Twitter. Trophies will be awarded in June 2024 to the winning institutions in all competitive divisions. Learfield Director's Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics. Devil Sports Network from Learfield. Welcome to the Duke Basketball Halftime Report. Coming up, we'll break down the game's first 20 minutes, update scores from the ACC in the top 25, and preview the second half. Our halftime coverage begins inside the Learfield Network studios. Here's Kyle Schasperger. Just an incredible first half from freshman Jared McKay as he passes Trey Jones and J.J. Reddick's NCAA Tournament Marks with six three-pointers. He went six of six to begin, finish six of eight over the first 20 minutes against James Madison. 22 points, seven of 11 overall from the floor. And again, 22 points for McCain, who began six of six from three-point land. The Blue Devils just unconscious from downtown. Eight of 18 overall with McCain having six of those, shooting 44%, 50% overall from the floor. And led by as many as 24, up 22 at the break. Four-seeded Duke and 12-seeded James Madison. Second round action of the South Regional. Plenty to come at halftime. We'll reset the tournament scoreboard for you now. Get you an update on Carol Lawson and company as they were victorious over Ohio State earlier today. More highlights, and John Roth will have a deep look, deep dive at all of the numbers from the first half. McCain led everyone in scoring the only one in double figures with 22. Let's go ahead and take you through the uh, scoreboard, though, with two games that have gone final here today. And we'll start with top-seeded Purdue out of the Midwest region. Purdue and eight-seeded Utah State hooking up and for a second consecutive game. Remember, Purdue, top seed a year ago in the tournament, fell to 16-seeded Fairleigh Dickinson, only the second number one seed ever to go down to a 16, Virginia being the other, prior to coming back and win the national championship the following year. But Purdue had it on cruise control early and often thanks to a huge 13-0 run in the first half. Lance Jones brings it up as he eyes Purdue offensive coordinator P.J. Thompson, who calls the play with the little whiteboard in his right hand. Jones, hash mark left, bounce it to Edie, mid post left, out to Colvin. Right wing three on the way, bullseye! Colvin with three fingers to his face. It's 13 straight points for Purdue. And Indianapolis has come unglued. 36-24. The Boilermakers have their largest lead with 4-10 remaining in the half. Courtesy of the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Purdue set a school record for the most points in a March Madness game. Next up, fifth seed at Gonzaga. The Midwest Regional Semifinals in Detroit following a 106-67 victory over Utah State. Zach Eady at 23 points and 14 rebounds. And Purdue... Boilermakers were shooting 65.2% from the field before pulling their starters. Marquette and Colorado, the only other game that has gone final of eight today. Two have already concluded, and the Golden Eagles says the two seed in the south region taking on 10 seeded Colorado. Marquette able to secure their first Sweet 16 appearance since 2013. One of 17 now for the program. Buffs with a program record, 26 wins this season. Hoping that the year continues. Hadley into Simpson on the trot. Five seconds, four seconds. Oh, down to three, down to two. Simpson now puts up a three from the corner. Off the back of the rim, off the top of the backboard. And Marquette marches on to the Sweet 16 for the first time since 2013. The Golden 
Golden Eagles are on their way to the regional semifinals of the NCAA tournament. 81-77, the final over Colorado. Final call heard on the Westwood One NCAA radio network. Final score in that contest, 81-77. Other games still to come in the NCAA tournament, round of 32. Others looking to punch their way into the Sweet 16. 6'10 star, 6 seeded Clemson, 3 seeded Baylor as part of the West region. Brad Brown now trying to become the first Clemson Tigers head coach ever to secure two Sweet 16 appearances for the Tigers, last doing so in 2018. This will be the fourth meeting overall between these two programs and the first since 1983. At 7-10, 12-seeded Grand Canyon and 4 seeded Alabama will hook up in the West region from Spokane. The Lopes, led by head coach Bryce Drew, have tied a program record for wins in a single season with 30 of the most since the Lopes earned 30 wins during a 1988 Sierra I was born NAIA National Championship. Then coming up at 745, Chris Collins, the ninth seeded Northwestern. Top seed of UConn, defending national champs. They'll hook up in the East Region. 745 at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. At 840, nine seeded Texas AM and top seeded Houston as part of the South Region in Memphis. 13 seeded Yale, who's able to sneak by and upset Auburn. A couple of days ago, they'll take on five-seeded San Diego State. Then also a 940 start out of the East Region. Our halftime score, four-seeded Duke, 47, 12-seeded James Madison, 25 in the South Region. Still to come, we'll take you through some of the highlights coming up. There'll be quite a few from Jared McCain, who at 22, he went six of eight from downtown. First, though, let's pause 10 seconds. We do owe you an ID station, so let's go ahead and do that. Some uh, housekeeping here, 10 seconds for station identification. This is Duke Basketball from Learfield. Duke by 22 at the break. Over the Dukes of James Madison. More to come after this on the Blue Devil Sports Network from Blairfield. For any surface in every season, Continental Tire is the smart choice in tires. From ultra-high performance tires like the Extreme Contact Sport to passenger touring tires to all-terrain light truck tires like the Terrain Contact AT, Continental has a tire that gives you confidence no matter the road conditions. Whether you're looking for summer, all-season, or winter tires, Continental Tire has something to fit your needs. Visit ContinentalTire.com to find your ideal tire. Continental Tire, a proud partner of the Duke Blue Devils. At the North Carolina Education Lottery, we love to celebrate winners. So I hired a town crier to announce pick three, pick four, and cash five winners. Hear ye, hear ye. But there are thousands of winners every day. Oy hey, oy hey, oy hey. I may not have thought this through. A proclamation of jubilant accord. Who gave him a bell? Daily draw games. What will you do with your win? Must be 18 to play. See pick three, pick four, and cash five prize and odds charts at nclottery.com for details. Problem gambling helpline, 877-718-5543. You're listening to Duke Basketball in the NCAA Tournament. Back to Brooklyn in 60 seconds. Hey, pork rind lovers. Are you ready for a new low-carb salad topper with bold flavor? Croutones Pork Rind Croutons will be your new go-to topper. Try them on salads, soups, or as an on-the-go snack. Croutones have the protein-packed crunch that will wake up your taste buds while curbing the carbs. Find Southern Recipe Small Batch Croutones in the Crouton aisle at Food Lion today. The two-minute warning, the caution flag, the four. PNC Bank believes in the power of a helpful watch out. That's why they created low cash mode, the financial watch out that gives you multiple options and at least 24 hours of extra time to help avoid overdraft fees. Low cash mode on virtual wallet from PNC Bank. To learn more, visit pncbank.com slash virtual wallet. Low cash mode and virtual wallet are registered marks of the PNC Financial Group Services Incorporated. PNC Bank National Association, member FDIC. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield under the broadcasting rights granted by Duke University. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the express written consent of Duke University and Learfield. Announcers are provided by Learfield and approved by Duke University. 
47-25, the halftime score. Blue Devils lead James Madison around a 32 matchup. The winner will head to Dallas in the Sweet 16. Kyle Shasperger inside Studio 21. No one gets closer to the game than Sirius XM, ACC Radio. Tune in for news, talk, and analysis from the offseason through the regular season and into the postseason. We've got your team covered anywhere you go. Get a free trial at SiriusXM.us slash ACC Radio. The Duke women's basketball team was able to correct what was a 16-point deficit at two-seeded Ohio State on their very own home floor in what was the Portland 3 region of the NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament today. And 7 seeded Duke pulled off a 75-63 win over the Buckeyes, advancing to face either Syracuse or UConn. Kara Lawson extremely pleased with the defensive effort, among other things, from her team. For us, they know, like, on any given play, they could be guarding any of the players on their team. Um, because of a switch or something that's an emergency, and, and they have to be competent in being able to do that, and, and they're really, all really good defenders. And, and so that's a strength of ours, that we have multiple versatile defenders on the court at any given time we can switch. And we play that end with great effort. I mean, we've been one of the best defensive teams in the country the last two years. We take great pride in that. The numbers say that. That's not my opinion. And we take great pride in it. We want everyone to take challenge shots as many times as possible. Um, you know, I thought uh, McMahon was terrific, but we were okay with that in the sense that they were contested twos down there. I didn't like that we fouled her so much, but we were they weren't threes. And that happened a little bit in the Richmond game too with their little point guard. We were kind of like okay with that. We felt like threes and turnovers could beat us. And, you know, you're playing a math game there. Can they make enough twos to, to beat you? And, um, you know, we, we had four more threes than them, and, and that certainly helped us out. Reagan Richardson had 28 points to pace the Blue Devils. Duke has overcome deficits in each of their first two NCAA tournament games this year. Jared McCain has had himself quite a game in the NCAA tournament. His second appearance for the freshman. Six of eight from downtown from three in that first half. Drift to the right. A screen from Carey from the baseline. Waiting, waiting. Bounced it to Carey. Carey on Filipowski. Knocked loose by McCain and taken away. In transition up by 12. It's Proctor back for McCain. He'll launch. Jared McKay from deep, and it's 24 to 9, and JMU wants a timeout. Here's McCain off of the screen sent by Mitchell, probing, backs out, launches again. Oh my goodness, Jared McCain lethal, and the lead is 16. Five for five for Jared from beyond the arc. And the Blue Devils seemingly able to have their way in every phase of this contest. Mark Mitchell only scored once, but this one really encapsulates the effort over the first 20 over the Dukes. Roach sends it for Mitchell at the free throw line. Straight line drive and a right hand punch. He had the whole avenue of the lane to attack, and he certainly did with the one-hand throwdown. And one more for good measure for McCain, who didn't miss in his first six attempts from deep. McCain with those 19 points. He also leads the team in rebounding time with flip four piece. Doing a little bit of everything. He's open on the right. Three ball up. Got it again. Six out of six. And it's 47-23. 22 for McCain with two minutes and 20 seconds to go in the half. 47-25 is the halftime score. John Roth with more of the numbers. We return to moment here on the Blue Devil Sports Network from Learfield. Duke plays here. Flying in, reverses it. Open in for two. This is the Blue Devil Sports Network from Learfield. Duke fans know about excellence and achievement and the value of a Duke education. So when someone is injured and needs legal help, it makes sense to call the law offices of James Scott Farron, a statewide law firm managed by a Duke Law graduate. If you're injured in an auto accident or on the job, call on the Hurt Line, 1-800-HURT-LINE. The law offices of James Scott Farron, headquartered near Duke at 555 Magnum Street in Durham, North Carolina. At Reed's Jewelers, we know that the rules of engagement were made to be broken. So don't settle for the first ring you see in the case. When you put a ring on it, make the moment your own with something that's just as unique as your love. Whether you're going big, keeping it subtle, or finding a happy medium, we're here to help you say I do with a one-of-a-kind design. Because doing things your way is what makes them mean everything. Reed's Jewelers, an official partner of Blue Devil Sports. Visit your local Reed's Jewelers in-store or online at reeds.com to chat with an expert. Duke Basketball
basketball in the NCAA tournament against James Madison is brought to you by Duke Stores. Shop.duke.edu, where real Duke fans shop. Welcome back to the Barclays Center. Duke on top of James Madison at the half, 47 to 25. Let's check out our halftime stats presented by Steel. Step up your game with Steel Battery Tools. Blue Devils have a 22-point halftime margin, and that just coincides with the fact that the Duke's leading scorer in that first half had 22 points. Jared McCain on 7 of 11, shooting with those six threes that Kyle told you about just a moment ago to lead the way. The only double-figure scorer for either team in the game thus far. Duke also got eight points from Tyrese Proctor, eight from Kyle Filipowski on four out of five shooting, uh, four points from Jeremy Roach, and two apiece from Mark Mitchell and Jalen Blakes. The total of 47 on an even 50% from the floor. And overall, the Blue Devils made eight threes. They were eight out of 18 and out-rebounded JMU 21 to 13. On the James Madison side, the leading scorer was Bickerstaff. Only made one field goal, but cashed in at the free throw line five times for seven points and five each for Friedel and Edwards. Their total of 25 came on 40% shooting, and they were just one out of six from three-point range. Blue Devils kept the turnovers down, only two, and the assists were up 11 on the 17 made field goal. So the Blue Devils uh, just put together their second highest scoring first half of the year with 47 points. The highest was 48 at Pitt. Now they're coming out and look to do it again in the second half as they try to get a trip to the Sweet 16 today from Brooklyn. So we'll have the second half with you in just a moment. You're listening to Duke Basketball from Learfield. For generations, hardworking people have relied on Ford F-Series trucks to help grow businesses, communities, families. A legacy of capability and technology that has made Ford F-Series America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. This is the next generation of built Ford Tough. Based on 1977 to 2023 calendar year total sales. Duke, James Madison. You're listening to Duke Basketball in the NCAA Tournament. We'll get back to Brooklyn in 60 seconds. Let me grab my car keys and we'll roll. We still going to that new bar downtown? Yeah, it's supposed to be fun. Lexi, give me driving directions from home to downtown bar district. Auto correct. Suggest Uber. Pick up. Home. Drop off downtown bar district. No, I'm driving. Suggest the metro bus. Departing in 12 minutes. <laughs> Point taken, Lexi. We'll grab a ride. If you drink, don't drive. Decide to ride. Brought to you in partnership by Anheuser-Busch, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, and Uber. I feel happy. Valero Pay Plus. I, I feel happy. It makes savings a snap. Use it and start saving automatically. You just save some money. Not too shy. I feel happy. I'm in and out real fast. I feel happy. Nothing stops are a blast. Download today and get in on the fun. Valero Pay Plus app. Your savings have begun. Here in Brooklyn, where the smoke is cleared after a Blue Devil Blitz in the first 20 minutes. 47 to 25 our score. And from that smoke has emerged a new freshman record in terms of May three-pointers in an NCAA tournament game as Jerry McCain was six of eight for three in the first half. He had 22. James Madison as a team had 25. And the margin is 22. As we welcome you back inside the Barclays Center, David Schumann alongside John Roth. John Rose, our producer and engineer. And back inside our network studios, of course, is Kyle Schasperger. James Madison will have it first here in the second half. Starters back out there for the Blue Devils. McCain, Filipowski, Mitchell, Roach, and Proctor will watch the Blue Devils go left to right here as we sit across from the team benches. 20 minutes away from the 29th Sweet 16 in program history. JMU is going to start with a Friedel three that's short. Offensive rebound. The putback wouldn't go for Brown. And McCain has the rebound this time. Oh, 
imagine John Roth, the message in the locker room was simple. Keep attacking, right? Play like it's nothing, nothing. I would say keep the pedal to the metal as the second half gets underway. Don't back off a second. Filipowski spinning at the top of the key. Picked up his dribble, needs some help. Finds McCain. Into the left corner goes in Jeremy Roach. Eight on the timer. Jeremy feeds it inside to flip. Spins, trying to find Mitchell on a cut. Deflected, stolen by Brown. And here comes JMU the other way. Edwards in transition. Spinning into the paint. Tough scoop. Got it. Edwards with seven. And it's a 20-point game, 47-27. For the Blue Devils, that is just their third turnover of the day. Remember, this is a JMU team that forced 19 from Wisconsin. Roach looking inside. Filipowski towers over Brown. Jeremy can't quite feed it to him, so he goes to Mitchell to the left. Proctor into the corner. McCain again. Good again. Still cooking. He's got seven threes. This end of the floor no different than the other one. Just this time it was from the corner. Seven of nine from deep. 50 to 27. Edwards fall away. Left side of the paint. Left it short. A rebound for Filipowski. And here comes Proctor up by 23. Tyrese to Filipowski. A couple of ball fakes. Here is McCain. Friedel had him to the left. It's Roach. Plenty of time. 15 to shoot. Roach calls for the screen. Turns it down. Drifting towards the top of the key. 10 to shoot. Between the legs a couple of times. Looking to feed it inside. We get a whistle and a foul on Filipowski. Or on the defender on Filipowski as Horton was trying to post him up. And that'll be the first on Raekwon Horton. The transfer from the College of Charleston. And the Bootles inbound with a fresh 20 along the right baseline. Proctor will be the inbounder. 18-14 to go. The Bootles have led by as many as 24. Right now it's 23. Filipowski. Wants to drive. Got it on Horton. Here's a double team. Looking cross court. It's not there. Fades away. And didn't get the roll on the jumper from six feet out. Pickerstaff the rebound for JMU. Two minutes gone in the second half. 50 to 27 our score. Edwards spinning to the right. It goes and Brown. To the baseline. Pickerstaff on the right. 15 feet out. Trying to back down Proctor. Spins to the left. Back to the right. Bounce pass for Friedel. A little bit loose and taken away. Jeremy Roach a theft. That's turnover number seven for James Madison and steal number six for the Blue Devils. Jeremy wants to drive. Got by Brown. Into the paint. A bounce pass to flip. He attacks. Scores. And he's fouled. Great dish by Jeremy Roach as flip came down from the right side to the goal and perfectly timed pass. So Filipowski into double figures. He's got ten. The foul is going to be on Horton. That's his second. And the Blue Doubles, after making five in the first half, have now made 487 free throws this year. And, of course, Food Line is the proud sponsor of the Score to Get More program. They've donated 30,000 meals to help our neighbors in need. Flip trying to complete the three-point play. Got the roll on the free throw as well. So he joins McCain in double figures. Jared's got 25. Flip has 11. And the Blue Doubles have their biggest lead of the afternoon, 53-27, with 17 and a half minutes to go. Edwards, a crossover up top on Filipowski. Can't shoot over him, wants to drop him into the paint. Tough scoop, blocked by Flip. Late whistle and a foul coming. We'll see who they tag it on. Will it be on Filipowski? Yep, that's his third. And, and John, obviously, and rightfully so, we're enamored with the shooting of Jared McCain, but it's not overshadowed, but maybe taking some time away from talking about this defensive effort. I mean, James Madison has nine made field goals in this game. 38% oh, yeah. and one out of seven from three. Yeah, Duke's defense has been superb, and they've challenged and contested just about every James Madison shot. It's not like they've just missed shots. Uh, the Blue Devils playing strong on defense, and they've come up with uh, seven turnovers so far and uh, turned those into a few points as well, ten points off turnover. So kind of doing to uh, James Madison what James Madison did to Wisconsin the other night and kind of taking them out of their game with good defense. Edwards made the first free throw. The second is on the way. Got them both. So he's got nine. He's now their leading scorer on the afternoon. And it's 53-29. Jeremy Roach in no hurry as he comes across midcourt. And we approach 17 minutes to play. Roach on the drive. Got by Brown and laid it in. Just way too fast. And he's got six. 55-29. Three minutes gone here in the second half. Friedel bounced it too far in front. Stolen by Mitchell. Two on one with Proctor. It's Mark. Oh, went for the spectacular punch. Got it blocked out of bounds. It'll stay with the Blue Devils. 
He did have Tyrese Proctor to his right, but I think he determined that he was going to be able to get up over the defender and throw it down, but a, a good stop by the defender. 55-29, Proctor off the inbound, hits a three in the corner, and he's fouled! And a free throw coming as well. Tyrese Proctor under pressure. Nailed the three, falling down. If he can make his free throw, the Blue Devils will have a 30-point lead. 58-29. They are 10 of 20 from deep. Against a James Madison team that really one of their calling cards had been their three-point defense, holding opponents below 30% on the year. They were second in their conference. That foul, by the way, was on Horton, and now he's got three. Here's Proctor, as John told you, at the free throw line. Missed the free throw. Mitchell trying to get an offensive rebound, but it came to Friedel. So the lead isn't 30, but they're doubling up the Dukes. 58-29. Nearly another theft by Roach. It's Edwards spinning on Mitchell. Tough two. Got it. He's the first in a double figures for James Madison. He's got 11. 58-31. 16-22 to go. Proctor for Filipowski. On the left, it's Jeremy Roach off of a screen set by Flip. He wants to drive at the right elbow. A little shoulder shake. Lobs it to the corner. Proctor again. Short this time on the three. The rebound for Edwards. Lost it, but it came to Friedel. Edwards in transition. Hands it along the left sideline. Four minutes gone in the second half. The Blittables by 27 here in Brooklyn. Back up top. Friedel can't shoot over McCain. To the right, Edwards now. And now Green has it. Top of the key. Jumps back from three and hits it. Michael Green, the Bronx native, with his first three-pointer of the day, 50th of the season, and it's 58-34 with 15.40 to go. Proctor for Mark Mitchell, looking inside, flip is open, catches, got it knocked loose, to the deck they go, and James Madison has it. So a takeaway for the Dukes, and here comes Edwards on the left. Waiting, Proctor defending. Carey kind of laying on him, trying to set a screen. Now Carey has it with Proctor defending. Inside, knocked loose by Roach, taken right back. And Tyrese Proctor will bring it across. Five minutes gone in the second half. The Blue Devils have stretched what was a 22-point lead at halftime to 24. Proctor for Filipowski. Sends it to the left, there's Jeremy Roach. Off of a screen set by Flip. The senior captain. Looking up top, Mitchell at the free throw line, dump it down to Filipowski, he'll lay it in. Big to big, just beautiful, and Filipowski has 13. Very soft, well-directed pass by Mark Mitchell to flip. And the Blue Devils now have 15 assists in the game. Of course, they came in averaging better than 15 as Edwards goes inside and scores off the right. 60-36, to 36, the two teams trading baskets. That'll work for John Shire's group with 14 and a half minutes to go and up by 24. No signs of let up coming out of the locker room. Filipowski sends it to the left. There's Jeremy Roach. A baseline drive got by Green. Drew a foul. And then will chase us to a timeout. 14-18 to play here in the second half. The Blue Doubles are up 60-36. Every day in the U.S., more than nine people are killed and 1,000 injured in crashes involving a distracted driver. You can't control other motorists, but you can control how you operate your vehicle. Avoid distractions while driving, like texting or checking social media. Brought to you by Trusted Choice Independent Insurance Agents of North Carolina. Learn more at TrustedChoice.com slash go Duke. To learn more, visit your local Trusted Choice Independent Agency, Joel T. Cheatham Insurance Agency in Henderson, or go to ncagent.com. For any surface in every season, Continental Tire is the smart choice in tires. From ultra-high performance tires like the Extreme Contact Sport to passenger touring tires to all-terrain light truck tires like the Terrain Contact AT, Continental has a tire that gives you confidence no matter the road conditions. Whether you're looking for summer, all-season, or winter tires, Continental Tire has something to fit your needs. Visit ContinentalTire.com to find your ideal tire. Continental Tire, a proud partner of the Duke Blue Devils. Duke fans know about excellence and achievement and the value of a Duke education. So when someone is injured and needs legal help, it makes sense to call the law offices of James Scott Farron, a statewide law firm managed by a Duke Law graduate. If you're injured in an auto accident or on the job, call on the Hurt Line, 1-800-HURT-LINE. The law offices of James Scott Farron, headquartered near Duke at 555 Magnum Street in Durham, North Carolina. 
Basketball in the NCAA tournament against James Madison is brought to you by Duke Stores. Shop.duke.edu, where real Duke fans shop. Blue Devils are still cooking from deep here with more than five minutes gone by in the second half in Brooklyn. Kyle Shasper go with you. Jared McCain has added another three. He's got 25 points, 7 of 9 from downtown, but Tyrese Proctor also with increased difficulty. 55-29, Proctor off the inbound, hits a three in the corner, and he's fouled. And a free throw coming as well. Proctor is joined Two others in double figures, so that's three in total. McCain with 25, 13 for flip, and now Tyrese Proctor with 11. He's knocked down three triples, David. It's gone fairly well. well three out of nine from three is Tyrese Proctor, to state the obvious. The Blue Devils up by 24. He hit three, remember, in the game on Friday night against Vermont. It was the 13th time in his due career that he's had three or more threes. The Blue Devils record in that stretch, 12-1, and one, by the way, on that and one opportunity for Tyrese Proctor. First free throw he's taken in like six games, John. That's true. He'd gone five games without any free throws, even though certainly he has the ball in his hands a lot, directing uh, traffic, driving inside, and just didn't get to the line, but got there tonight. As we remind you, the Sharp Business System sets the same standard of excellence in office equipment as the Blue Devils do in basketball. Count on Sharp for state-of-the-art office equipment. Sharp changing the way companies do business. So off the inbound, it's Jeremy Roach going back to work. Young is out there now as Filipowski gets a breather. The other four starters still on the floor. Roach double teamed at midcourt and nearly went into backcourt. Able to find Proctor on the right, though. Now it's McCain. Jumps up from three. This one's short and the rebound for Green and James Madison. You just feel like everything's going in today when he takes it. Seven of ten for B. Green whips it to the right into the hands of Wooden. Now to the baseline it goes and carry. Trying to drive Ryan Young. Backs him down at the right block. Forced it up. Drew a foul and he'll shoot two as Ryan picks up number three. You mentioned the guys in double figures. Of course, Philip Housky has 13. Vermont was the first game without a made field goal for him uh, since last year in Charlottesville when he went scoreless against Virginia. Of course, all the controversy that came with that on the late foul call that was called and then taken away. And, of course, the Blue Devils fell in overtime of that game. Next time out, he had 22 on 9 of 16 shooting against Notre Dame as Carey's first free throw is good. And if memory serves, they won their next 10 after that loss to Virginia. Including the ACC Tournament Championship. As Carey hits the first free throw, one more to come. Got them both. Vernon's younger brother has five. 60 to 38, 13 48 to go. The margin right where it was at halftime at 22. It's been as big as 29 here in the second half. This is a little 9-1 to one push, or 9-2 to two push, I should say, for James Madison. As Mitchell catches on the right, into the hands of Jared McCain, off of a screen set by Mark. Whips it inside, knocked out of bounds by Edwards. It'll stay on this end with 8 to shoot. And 13-26 to go. Proctored inbound. Waiting. Still waiting. Kicks to the right. Young has it now. One dribble, steps through on Carey, put it up, rimmed out, and the rebound inside for Wooden. James Madison has made each of their last three shots in the field, and now here's Edwards at the free throw line, steps back, steps through on Mitchell, took an extra step and turned it over on the traveling violation. That's their 10th turnover tonight. Trying to go up and under that time, but he'd already established a pivot foot, so the extra step gives it back to Duke, and Blue Devils have gone to the bench now. Stewart back in, as is Kyle Filipowski, the sophomore center, 7-footer, 248 out of Westtown, New York. So Young and Mitchell will get a breather. Roach, McCain, and Proctor all stay. Seven minutes gone in the second half. Blue Devils still leading by 22. On the left, Filipowski right back to Proctor. Here comes a double team, dribbles out of it. On the drive, right side of the paint, backs out. Half the shot clock is gone, still plenty of time to go to work. Tyrese with 12 to shoot. Defended by Horton. Filipowski sets a screen. Eight on the topper. Bounces it to the big fella. On the right, beyond the three-point line. He'll drive inside on Carey. Go up with three to shoot. Force it up off the window and shoot two. As Carey picks up the foul, that'll be his second. 
Just the outstanding footwork for Kyle Filipowski. Got the younger brother of Vernon Carey Jr. airborne. And now Kyle will shoot two. Took it all the way down to the end of the shot clock. Just under two seconds left when Flip went to the rim. You think about what a difference a year makes. Last year in the round of 32, the Blue Devils lost 65 to 52. Of course, Mark Mitchell didn't play. Found that out just before the game. In that game, they had 15 turnovers and just 10 assists, and they were outscored 18 to 7 in terms of points off turnovers. As the first free throw for Filipowski is good. So far in this one, they have 15 assists and just four turnovers and points off turnovers favoring the Blue Devils 16 to 4. Big difference in yeah. that. Points off turnovers is huge to be able to convert. And they haven't all been live ball turnovers, but the Blue Devils have done an excellent job of taking advantage of the extra possessions. As the second free throw for Filipowski is no good. So it's 61 38, 12 40 to go. Green. Defended by Jeremy Roach. Loops it back to the left for Wood. Can't shoot over Roach. Trying to back him down into the paint. Rises up. Whistle and a foul on Jeremy Roach. We'll send Wooden to the line for two. It's the second foul on Roach. One of three captains on the team. Senior guard, 6'2", 180 out of Leesburg, Virginia. Of course, the others, Tyrese Proctor. Sophomore guard, 6'9", 183 out of Sydney, Australia. And Ryan Young, the second-year graduate student. Whose previous school will be on this floor next? Yeah, that's true. It's Chris Collins in Northwestern try to get through to the Sweet 16 as the first free throw for Wooden's no good. They've got a challenge in front of them. James Madison's one of two teams in the tournament that has 32 wins already. The other is Connecticut, and they looked very good in blasting Stetson on Friday as the second free throw for Wooden is good. His first point of the day. But you never know. Chris Collins, the only coach in Northwestern history that's won an NCAA tournament game, looking for another one. 61-39 with 12.20 to go. Roach gets it inside for flip. Back outside for Roach. Blue Devils delivered, as you would expect, offensively with this huge lead as the foul is called on Carey off the ball, trying to defend Filipowski. That's his third. And here in the second half, that's six on James Madison, so one and one coming on all common fouls the rest of the way. Carey shaking his head. Maybe a little bit at the call, but also at the challenge, trying to defend the seven-footer Filipowski. Second team All-American by the Associated Press name. As Proctor catches in the left corner, steps to the left, takes a long two, and hits again. Tyrese Proctor with 13, and the lead is 24. At the other end, Edwards can't answer. Nice contest by Sean Stewart. And here we go. The Blue Devils left to right. To the left, McCain a three. Wow! McCain with his eighth three-pointer. And it's 66 to 39. He has now equaled his own freshman record. And he's got 28. As Green able to score at the other end. Of, of all the shots that he likes to hit, I know that transition threes are his favorite. And once again, he comes down and catches on the run, stops and pops. Remember, the school record in a game is nine. As Filipowski has at the top of the key. On the right, McCain on the drive, into the paint, feeling it. Lefty scoop, give it to him. Jared McCain has 30, and the lead is 27. Eight threes, two twos. Goodness. Green steps back on the right, can't take the three. Fed Carey back to Green, top of the key. This time the three's too strong. The rebound for Carey and James Madison. In on McCain, righty scoop, no. Filipowski trying to claim it, cannot. And a foul on Stewart trying to get the rebound. And that'll chase us to a timeout as Sean picks up number three. By the way, the eight three-pointers, that is an NCAA tournament record for the Blue Devils for anybody, freshman or otherwise. And who knows, we might have to crack open the record book quite a bit over the last 10.59 here in Brooklyn. All Blue Devils, 68 to 41. At the North Carolina Education Lottery, we love to celebrate winners. So I hired a town crier to announce pick three, pick four, and cash five winners. Hear ye, hear ye. But there are thousands of winners every day. Oh yay, oh yay, oh yay. I may not have thought this through. A proclamation of jubilant accord. Who gave him a bell? Daily draw games. What will you do with your win? Must be 18 to play. See pick three, pick four, and cash five prize and odds charts at nclottery.com for details. Problem gambling helpline, 877-718-5543. The Brotherhood plays here. This is the Wall Day. Hey, this is Mike Jaminski. Hey, this is Tyus Jones. You're listening to Duke Basketball. 
Hey, pork rind lovers. Are you ready for a new low-carb salad topper with bold flavor? Croutones Pork Rind Croutons will be your new go-to topper. Try them on salads, soups, or as an on-the-go snack. Croutones have the protein-packed crunch that will wake up your taste buds while curbing the carbs. Find Southern Recipe Small Batch Croutones in the Crouton aisle at Food Lion today. It's bow time. Sometimes the craving for Bojangles Supremes is so strong, you just gotta have them. Even when your gas tank is on empty and Bojangles is still 10 miles down the highway. Nothing beats the flavor of Bojangles Juicy Golden Supremes, especially when they're part of a perfect combo with four boldly seasoned chicken Supremes, a made-from-scratch biscuit, fixin', and some legendary iced tea. The only thing that can satisfy your hunger is that delicious southern flavor. So when the craving is supreme, put the pedal to the metal. It's bow time. to go on this one as we welcome you back to the Jared McCain Show where the Blue Devils are pounding the Dukes 68-41. to 41. McCain has 30. That's right, 30, including 8 of 11 from 3. He's 10 of 15 from the field. As a remind you, the Blue Devils basketball is brought to you in part by Coca-Cola's Coke Zero Sugar, the best Coke ever. Speaking of best ever, perhaps it's sooner makes you the best fan ever. Coke Zero Sugar leaves everything out there on game day. Zero sugar, zero calories, and always bringing that irresistible taste that keeps you coming back for more. Is it the best Coke ever? Take a taste. I don't know if James Madison likes the taste they're getting right oh. now from one of the most dynamic freshmen in the country. He's two off the freshman scoring record for the Blue Devils in an NCAA tournament game. That came from Zion Williamson back against UCF. And he's one off the school record for three-pointers in a game. Other than that, it's been kind of a normal afternoon. James Madison with it out of the timeout. Edwards to inbound, lobs it for Bickerstaff. Trying to back down Jeremy Roach. Spins to the baseline, goes cross court. Three ball for Edwards on the left is too strong. And the rebound for Friedel. Spins, trying to drive Proctor. Instead, back up top for Green to the left. Edwards, a ball fake. Lost it, trying to drive Filipowski in a blocking foul call. John Shire doesn't like that one. I thought Flip was in pretty good defensive position. He was kind of just uh, in his stance out there and really didn't make any move to try to get in Edwards' way, but... That'll send him to the, bench. to the yeah. bench with 10.44 to go and bring back in Mark Mitchell. Sophomore forward, 6'9", 232 out of Kansas City, Kansas. So it's Mitchell, Stewart, McCain, Proctor, and Roach out there. Green between the legs. On the right, Wooden, bounce pass inside. Bickerstaff got underneath and reversed it home for two. T.J. Bickerstaff had seven in the first half, now nine in the game as that's his first bucket of the second half. And Proctor across midcourt, comfortably ahead by 25 as we approach the midway point of the second half. Let's go, Duke is the champ from the Blue Devil Faithful. Stewart a catch into the corner. Proctor a three. Got it on the left. The Blue Devils are just filling it up from outside. In 12 of 24 now. And it's 71-43. Wooden at the other end able to answer. Good-looking stroke, his 49-3 of the season at the top of the key, 71-46. Proctor, though, now has three threes from that corner right in front of the Duke bench in this half alone. Well, we mentioned the team 12-24. He and McCain are 12-21. Yeah. And Tyrese looks to the bench. The Blue Devil is going to be very deliberate with a 25-point lead and nine and a half minutes to go. Proctor, double teamed out near midcourt, sifts it to the left. Roach wants to join the party, and he will. A clean look in front of the Blue Devil bench from three, and John Shire is going to use the timeout. This will extend to a full. We'll take it as well. It is a Blue Devil party in Brooklyn, 74-46 with 9.29 to go. It's tournament time for your Blue Devils. You can show your support of Duke all year long by purchasing authentic Duke merchandise from DukeStore.com. Our huge assortment of Duke apparel means you won't have to go anywhere else for the perfect t-shirt, jersey, sweatshirt, or hat. The only collection of Duke merchandise in the world that actually comes to you directly from Duke University. DukeStore.com, where real Duke fans shop. Let me grab my car keys and we'll roll. 
We still going to that new bar downtown? Yeah, supposed to be fun. Lexi, give me driving directions from home to downtown bar district. Auto correct. Suggest Uber. Pick up home. Drop off downtown bar district. No, I'm driving. Suggest the metro bus. Departing in 12 minutes. <laughs> Point taken, Lexi. We'll grab a ride. If you drink, don't drive. Decide to ride. Brought to you in partnership by Anheuser Busch, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, and Uber. Would you like to learn how AI-driven financial strategies can empower you to meet evolving challenges with confidence? OneStream can help you do just that. It's the next generation intelligent finance platform that streamlines corporate performance management processes such as planning, forecasting, financial close and consolidation. Choose the smarter option. Choose OneStream. Go to onestream.com forward slash AI and streamline your business today. Devils continue to rein it in from deep, especially this second half. They've drilled four of their first six three-point attempts as they've opened up a 73-46 advantage. And the lead is 24 at the other end. Edwards can't answer. Nice contest by Sean Stewart. And here we go. The Blue Devils left to right. To the left, McCain a three. Wow! McCain with his eighth three-pointer. And it's 66 to 39. He has now equaled his all freshman record. Let's go, Duke is the champ from the Blue Devil Faithful. Stewart a catch into the corner. Proctor a three. Got it on the left. The Blue Devils are just filling it up from outside. And Tyrese Proctor has a couple in this half as well. Overall, 12 with 24, Duke is. Now with John Roth and John Rose, here's the voice of the Blue Devils, David Chimay. All right, Kyle, thank you very much. As we welcome back inside the Barclays Center, don't forget. To check out Duke All Access with head coach Sean Shire Sundays at noon on ABC 11. And don't forget the ABC 11 mobile app is your ticket to Duke basketball highlights. And the latest from the first alert forecast, just tap the app and make it your own from ABC 11 Eyewitness News. The Blue Devils were in the first half 8 of 18 from 3, 44%. Thankfully here in the second half, they've been able to up the percentage. Now 67% from 3 in the second half, 4 out of 6 in 12 of 24 from the game. James Madison is 3 out of 11. You do some quick math. That's plus 27 from behind the arc in a game they lead by 28. Dukes have it out of the timeout. On a cut, it's Bickerstaff. Into the paint, back up top for Green. Into the corner. Edwards just lost it. Looked like he was trying to go up to shoot, and it's into the hands of Jalen Blakes and now Jeremy Roach. McCain with a towel draped across both legs. Another one wrapped around his shoulders is sitting over on the Blue Devil bench getting a breather. Trying to keep warm. Keep that hot streak going. We're under nine minutes to play. Proctor, Stewart, Roach, Blakes, and Mitchell to five on the floor. Ten to shoot. Proctor, top of the key. Crossing over. He's got four threes in his own right. Spinning, fades away, and scores. Tyrese Proctor has 18. I mean, we talked a lot about the game last year in Orlando. People forget he had 16 in that game, including six assists and a couple of steals as Green launches it from the left at the other end. Can't hit. Offensive rebound for Wooden. Whipped it inside. Right to Sean Stewart. And an outlet pass for Jalen Blakes. One-on-one. -on -one. Blakes went for the punch. Oh, my goodness. He got hammered. Fell awkwardly on the baseline. Flagrant foul is going to be called. You hope that he's all right. He hasn't got up yet. He's catching his breath and trying to stretch it out. Just landed on his back. Jose Fonseca's over there. John Shire's over there. The officials are going to the monitor. A flagrant foul has already been called. Will it be a flagrant one or a flagrant two is the question as he went up for the dunk. And in a 30-point game, it looked like it was Friedel that clocked him on the way by. And now Blakes is sitting up on the baseline. A great outlet pass that time from the steal. Sean Stewart rifling it ahead, and Blakes caught it on the run and took off for the rim. So he had a full head of steam going as he was attacking that rim. He was walking gingerly, was trying to come to the bench. Now they might just take him to the locker room. He wants to go back to the bench, but Jose Fonseca wants to check him out, and they're headed back to the Blue Double locker room to make sure he's okay. Neil Begovich helping as well as TJ Power comes to check in. Freshman forward 6'9", 216 out of Shrewsbury, Massachusetts. The three officials have come together after already signaling that a flagrant foul. We've yet to see a replay here in Brooklyn. Blakes fell. It looked like his right arm got caught underneath his body. So it could have been anything. Friedel. I mean, it was a wild swing. 
on an airborne player. As the officials come over, we'll see if it's a flagrant one or a flagrant two. Two shots of the ball coming for the Blue Devils. The question will be, is Friedel going to be ejected from this game? That was his first foul. And the officials continue to mull it over. His second foul, excuse me. And we await the announcement. It'll be Jeremy Roach to shoot the free throws because Blake's had to go back to the locker room. Penalty one, they say. So obviously one more will result in dismissal for Friedel, but not an ejection on that specific play. Meanwhile, Roach at the line to shoot two. And he hits the first one. That sends him into double figures. Ten points for Jeremy Roach. One of four in double figures. A second opportunity. Makes it 78-46. Blue Devils led in scoring by McCain. He's got 30. Freshman guard, 6'3", 197 out of Sacramento, California. Of course, his career high is 35. The last time he had eight threes, that was in Tallahassee. We hope Blakes is all right as we went back to the locker room as the Blue Devils knock it off of JMU, just trying to get it bounds. Proctor, sensing that the time was winding down, just threw it off of Edwards to get a fresh five count. And now we're ready to go again. Proctor to get it in for Jeremy Roach on the right. Wants to drive the baseline. Backs out of it on green. And now Mitchell has it again. Jeremy. Waiting. Drives to the left. In on green, all the way to the hoop, and he's fouled on the way in. They say the foul was on the floor before the made shot. Just the 16 foul on James Madison, so no free throws as of yet. And I believe they're going to give the foul to Friedel on a reach in. That'll be his third. Actually, it's the eighth on the team, excuse me. So one and one coming up for Jeremy Roach. A deep breath, and at 85%, he hits the front end of the one and one. I think it's fair to say, John, that that injury potentially, hopefully not, to Jalen Blakes has taken a little bit of starch out of the building. From an energy standpoint, from a little perspective, the game not really in doubt anymore, so a lot of people just sit around watching, and really the only mystery now is you just hope the Blakes is okay as Roach knocks down a pair. And also, certainly, that injury that Jeremy Roach suffered early in the game with what we thought was a dislocated finger has not impacted him once he got it taped up. He's been fine. He's got 13 going along with five assists and played a pretty strong game. By the way, the lead is 34, biggest of the day, 80 to 46. Green has it for James Madison. Drives by Stewart, put it off the window. No, the rebound for Mark Mitchell. Little was a chance to run if they want to. Mitchell in transition, peels out, leaves it for Jeremy Roach, and now they run some clock. We're under eight minutes to go. John Shire's group. Look, the social media these days, they notice everyone the last couple of days has been talking about James Madison, the way they picked apart Wisconsin. There's been a dismantling this afternoon as well as the Blue Devils go inside with Mitchell, who got it blocked and Wooden has it. It's been the Blue Devils taking JMU apart by the seams as Friedel launches a three on the right and hits. That cuts it to 31. He's got eight and a timeout taken by James Madison. 7.21 to go in this one. The Blue Devils lead it 80-49. to 49. As we step aside with 7.21 to go in Brooklyn. For any surface in every season, Continental Tire is the smart choice in tires. From ultra-high performance tires like the Extreme Contact Sport to passenger touring tires to all-terrain light truck tires like the Terrain Contact AT, Continental has a tire that gives you confidence no matter the road conditions. Whether you're looking for summer, all-season, or winter tires, Continental Tire has something to fit your needs. Visit ContinentalTire.com to find your ideal tire. Continental Tire, a partner of the Duke Blue Devils. Blue Devils, James Madison. Jumps up from three. Give it to him. More from Brooklyn after this local break. He'll fire, and it's good. This is Duke head men's basketball coach John Shire. When it comes to keeping our team healthy, we turn to the team at Duke Sports Medicine. We offer full-service sports medicine care at locations throughout the Triangle where you can see the same experts used by Duke Athletics. 
Make an appointment or learn more at dukehealth.org slash sports medicine. Go Duke. The crowd loves that. Whether you're in the market for a new boat or just need service or accessories for an existing boat, turn to Overby Marine. Now with two locations in Kittrell and Lake Gaston, Overby Marine offers the highest quality marine products and services, including the latest from Sea Race Centurion, Avalon Bennington, as well as Sea Pro Center Console. Overby Marine also offers the largest selection of parts in the region, along with full service facilities at their two locations. To stop by or give them a call at 252-586-3593 or online at overbymarine.com. Overby Marine, don't let adventure pass you by. Duke holding an overwhelming lead on James Madison with 721 to go in the game. It's 80 to 49. Let's take a look at some of the in-game stats presented by Steel. Step up your game with Steel Battery Tools. If you've been listening at all over the last few moments, you know that Jared McCain's leading everyone with 30 points in this contest. 10 out of 15 shooting, and that includes eight threes. Are on the verge of having a 20-point game. Tyrese Proctor's at 18 right now, 7 out of 14 with four threes. And then Filipowski with 14 and Roach with 13. So those are the four double-figure scores for the Blue Devils. They've hit 65% of their shots here in the second half. So they had a huge lead at the half by 22 points, and they have not backed off at all here in the second half. They've outscored JMU 33-24 to 24 in this half. Uh, JMU has been led today by Edwards, 13 points on 5 out of 10 shooting. They've hit 47% here in the second half. So told you TJ Power out there for the first time. Sean Stewart as well. Jeremy Roach, Tyrese Proctor, and the sophomore forward 6'9", 232 out of Kansas City, Kansas. Mark Mitchell. Tyrese holding at the center circle. Drifts to the right. Looks to the left. There's Power. He's got it now. 12 to shoot. Right back to Proctor. Curling off of the screen. Set by Power. All the way to the hoop. Off the window. No. Stewart trying to get an offensive rebound. He's got it. Proctor down underneath the rim. As Stewart goes back up and is fouled. Tyrese just back to his seat. Looks to be okay. And more free throws coming. As the foul will be on Bickerstaff for James Madison. But you could see the hop in Sean Stewart's step and trying to get that rebound and trying to go back up with it. He has springs in those knees. You're rolling through all the different stats a moment ago. The, the thing that pops out to me the most is Stewart's first free throw. He's a little bit short. Blue Devils have 13 threes. James Madison has 16 field goals. That tells you everything. And points off turnovers. They have totally flipped the script on how James Madison likes to play. 20 to 4 the advantage for the Blue Devils is the second free throw for Stewart is a rainbow that rattles around and goes down. His first point. 81-49. The Louisville's have surpassed their season average in scoring with still six minutes and 50 seconds to go here in Brooklyn. Wooden to the baseline. Got a step on Roach. Spins. Tough hook. Got it. Julian Wooden. All of his scoring has been here in the second half. And he's got six in the game now. Their winningest player of all time. 91 wins in his five years at JMU. 81-51 as Mitchell catches in front of us on the right. Wants to drive. Got a step on Wooden to the baseline. Got to block those. Friedel came over, but then lost out of bounds by JMU on the baseline by Wooden. So the Bittles will get it back with a fresh 20, I believe, with 6.23 to go. It was interesting being at the press conference yesterday when John Shire and the players were talking with the media. I would say more than half of the questions because of how feisty this atmosphere here was on Friday night when James Madison played Wisconsin was talking to John Shire's group about how they'd handle this partisan crowd that was going to be against the Blue Devils as Duke turns it over Young trying to feed it up top Friedel cut in front with just over six minutes to go got to the baseline scoop got it blocked by Stewart a power has it well John the Blue Devils took the initiative and, and they've had a lot of fun with their fans just about every seat is claimed here more than 17,000 at the Barclays Center but they're just watching the show right now. It's, it's hard to be feisty when your team's down 15-4 to 4 in the first couple of minutes. And the Connecticut and Northwestern fans have arrived for the nightcap as Roach goes inside. A lot to Stewart and a two-hand flush. You knew he was going to have to show off with Grant Hill in the building doing the television coverage oh, yeah. for CBS. It's a neighbor from back home in Orlando. Under six minutes to go now, 83-51. On the drive, they lob it to the corner. Three ball for Horton is too strong. Weak side rebound tapped by Roach, but a foul coming on the Blue Devils inside on Ryan Young, and that'll be his fourth. But you could sense it 
last week at practice and really the entire week. Here. Even visiting Mark Mitchell after the game, I talked to Tyrese Proctor yesterday at practice. There was no, look, they're happy to be in the NCAA tournament. Obviously, they want to play well, have a chance to win a national championship. But it's been a very serious group. Uh, they've been businesslike. And boy, have they taken care of business here this afternoon. As Wooden can't hit inside offensive rebound blocked by Stewart. As Bickerstaff put it up in the goaltend is called. They're going to look at that to see if it actually was a goaltend. But for the moment, Bickerstaff has a bucket. He's got 11. Second into double figures joining Edwards. Like it, there's a chance it might have been Mitchell that actually pinned it to the glass as opposed to knocking it off the glass. But no, we're going to go ahead. So we'll take a peek at the next timeout. I don't think it's going to affect the outcome. With just over five minutes to go. Jeremy Roach holding out near midcourt. The Blue Devils headed to Dallas next week to take on either Houston or Texas A&M in the Sweet 16. Roach into the corner. How about a power three? No, weak side rebound. Mitchell got a hand on it. Saved it up top to Roach in a fresh 20 as we go under five minutes to play. They're winning the rebounding battle as well. 31 to 27 now. And 20 assists. Goodness. Roach has six of them. He's in possession now on the drive into the paint. Rises up and scores with the right hand. Roach with 15. 85-53. Four and a half minutes to go. Edwards. Put the shoulder into Roach. Nearly slid the pivot foot. Wants to drop into the paint. Hangs. Kicks to the corner. A three ball for Horton is too strong. The rebound for Wooden. Knocked out of his hands. It actually went off the rim. Came to Bickerstaff. He missed the layup. And now Mark Mitchell has it. As we approach four minutes to play, the James Madison mascot just doubled over along the left baseline with his hands on his face. The James Madison Duke has been sitting most of the day. The Blue Devils have been having a lot of fun roaming around the Barclays Center as the Duke faith will come to their feet. Eight to shoot. It's Mitchell on the drive. Kicks to the corner. Power of three. Got it. TJ Power a deep one. And it's a 35-point lead. Edwards wants to drive. Got inside. Double team. Threw it away. Stolen by Mark Mitchell. Three on one. The lob to Stewart with the exclamation point to say goodnight. 3.32 to go. The Blue Devils call for time and will step aside. It's 90 to 53 in Brooklyn. Duke fans know about excellence and achievement and the value of a Duke education. So when someone is injured and needs legal help, it makes sense to call the law offices of James Scott Farron, a statewide law firm managed by a Duke Law graduate. If you're injured in an auto accident or on the job, call on the Hurt Line, 1-800-HURT-LINE. The law offices of James Scott Farron, headquartered near Duke at 555 Magnum Street in Durham, North Carolina. For generations, hardworking people have relied on Ford F-Series trucks to help grow businesses, communities, families. A legacy of capability and technology that has made Ford F-Series America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. This is the next generation of built Ford Tough. Based on 1977 to 2023 calendar year total sales. At Reed's Jewelers, we know that the rules of engagement were made to be broken. So don't settle for the first ring you see in the case. When you put a ring on it, make the moment your own with something that's just as unique as your love. Whether you're going big, keeping it subtle, or finding a happy medium, we're here to help you say I do with a one-of-a-kind design. Because doing things your way is what makes them mean everything. Reed's Jewelers, an official partner of Blue Devil Sports. Visit your local Reed's Jewelers in-store or online at reeds.com to chat with an expert. will come to their feet. Eight to shoot. It's Mitchell on the drive. Kicks to the corner. Power of three. Got it. TJ Power a deep one. And it's a 35-point lead. Edwards wants to drive. Got inside. Double team. Threw it away. Stolen by Mark Mitchell. Three on one. The lob to Stewart with the exclamation point to say goodnight. 
3.32 to go. The Blue Devils call for time and will step aside. A couple of great punctuation marks there. Two big assists to Sean Tour. Those are our Harris Teeter assists of the game. Harris Teeter offers you everything you need for the perfect game day. From subs to pizza to snacks to drinks, Harris Teeter has you covered. Plus, there are great ways to save every day with fuel points, EVIC, and HT+. Visit harristeeter.com for more info. This has been pretty close to a perfect game day. David Chimate, the Blue Devils holding a 90-53 to lead with three and a half minutes to go in the NCAA tournament. Yeah, we reached the 90-point plateau for the first time since 2023, December 30th, when they put up 106 on Queens. In the corner, Wooden has it for James Madison. Backs out. He'll take a deep one on the right. A rainbow that's short. Offensive rebound. Horton in front of Stewart. Goes back up. Blocked by Young. And this time Stewart has it. By the way, fan favorite Spencer Hubbard's out there for the first time. As you hear the ovation for him. Senior guard, 5'8". 157 out of Los Angeles. Stewart dribbles through. Nearly lost it. He did. Taken away by James Madison and Wooden. Ahead for Edwards. He'll drive on Hubbard. who was falling down before he got there. And two free throws coming. 2.53 to go. Spencer picks up his first. Edwards just bowled him over, but then sportsmanlike helped him to his feet after he finished the play. John, I can't help but look across as Edwards is going to go to the line and look at the five guys that started today. And obviously Jared McCain uh, had 30 to lead the way. But the other four, about a year ago, had a very different look on their face about after this falling time, to Tennessee. Too. Exactly right. But again... As lopsided, as impressive as this has been, as Edwards' first free throw is no good, it's still business-like over there. I mean, there's no wild celebrations going on. They still have more they want to accomplish as they head to the Sweet 16 for the 29th time in program history. Littles will prove to 28-10 and 10 in the second round all time. And the second free throw for Edwards is another miss. Since the tourney expanded in 1985, the Blue Doubles will prove to 26-5. and 5 in the round of 32. I do think it'll be a nice light flight home for the Blue Devils, however. <laughs> As Power will drive, scoop it up, tried the reverse, it wouldn't go. Begovich trying to get the rebound, knocked it out of bounds. It's over to James Madison. Neil Begovich, the graduate student of Ford, 6'9", 230, out of San Francisco, California. Right to transfer from Stanford. So everybody that could get into the game has. Also good to see Jalen Blakes back out on the bench for the Blue Devils after that awkward fall in the flagrant foul. Two and a half minutes to go in Brooklyn. 90 to 53. Wooden gets a catch inside at the left block. Going up on Young and able to get it to go. Julian Wooden's had a good second half. He's got eight. 90 to 55. Just over two minutes to go. Spencer Hubbard will run the offense. To the left, there's Ryan Young. Now to the right, Power. In front of Friedel. Chris to the left, gets a screen from Young, right back to him. Whip it inside for Begovich, block from behind, and Edwards out of there with it for JMU. In transition, Edwards, a crossover on Power, lost it. Power to the deck, took it away, and we're going to get a tie-up in the alternating possession. We'll give it to the Blue Devils with 147 to go. So even in a 90-55 to game with less than two minutes to play, Power says, we're supposed to go for loose balls. I'm going for it, and First he did. To the floor. 14 turnovers now for James Madison. The Blue Devils just with six. Hubbard and Begovich, the two that haven't scored that have played. Here's Power on the right. He'll take a three. Too strong. Offense rebound. Young back up and in. Ryan Young gets a field goal. And it's 92-55, 90 seconds to go. Friedel curling into the paint. A Euro step and a runner that crawled out. The rebound for Power. Now Hubbard will bring it across. Just waiting on the final score of what has been a thorough beatdown here in Brooklyn. Stewart at the top of the key. Bounces it to the left. Hubbard, he won't shoot it. Instead goes inside for Young. 12 to shoot. Outside Hubbard in the corner. Thought about it. 10 to shoot. He'll dribble up top. Catch again. Wooden defending him. 6 and 5. Hubbard on the drive. Scoop it off the window. Oh! It wouldn't go. And here's JMU the other way. Edwards a 3 in transition. Way too strong. Stewart has it. 45 seconds to go. Hub did really what he was supposed to do. They weren't supposed to shoot. Here's Stewart to drive into the paint. Kept his dribble alive. Quadruple team. First to the deck to save it. Out for Young. Here's Hubbard. 15 to shoot. 
Crowd wants him to. 30 seconds to go in the game. A screen from Young. Hubbard, a crossover. Maybe a step back. Can't shoot, though. Five to shoot. Knock loose, and a foul coming as Wooden picks up his fourth. And it'll be Hubbard to the line trying to get onto the score sheet with 21 seconds to go. As much as everybody wants him to, his job is to run the clock down as much as he can, and he didn't go into that drive until there were like five seconds left on the shot clock, which is what he was supposed to do. Now he has a chance, actually, to get the points at the line. About to take his first free throw of the season. And you hear the ovation as Hubbard's first free throw is too strong. Substitutions for James Madison, an opportunity for Mark Byington to pay tribute to some of his key players. Terrence Edwards will come out of this one, as will the redshirt senior Noah Friedel. They've had a tremendous season. The Littles will put it into the longest winning streak in the country today. 14 in a row, James Madison had won. They put it into the fourth longest on Friday when Vermont came in having won 10 in a row. Hubbard's second free throw. Got it. 93-55. Green at the top of the key. Smith sends it to the right. Wooden a three. Way too strong. Out of bounds with 7.4 to go. And that'll do it. He's been there several times as a player. joins us Tyrese Proctor here courtside. Tyrese, you've been talking about it all week and we talked about it yesterday. The memories you guys had from what happened in this round a year ago, very different story today. Yeah, I think I thought I think we just came out competed. Uh biggest thing tonight was coming out throwing the first punch. Coach talked about it for, before the game. I thought we played with great energy, great effort and everyone played their part. One of the big things that seemed to be was your defense as it has been when you've played well this year and you know they had so many points off turnovers when they got their win over Wisconsin today you outscored them 24 to 4 in points off turnovers that had to be big. Yeah, I think just being disciplined and taking care of the ball is the biggest thing. Uh, me and Joe have been doing it all year. You know, we learned last year against Tennessee the hard way, and I thought we just came out, and like I said, we were just disciplined. You guys can obviously all score. You had four threes. Jared had eight. 22 